Alrighty, hello guys, Ashlyn here, and we're going to be playing, this is a brand new game that just came out today. It's only the first episode of five episodes, though. It's an episodic game. Uh, one of those choices matter, how you choose tailors a story, and uh, yeah, I'm not really sure exactly what to expect, but I love a good story-driven game, and I was like, I have to try this. Alright, so... Uh, hello to Anthony Fensel, Beasternland, Carrie Wright, Crispy Christian, Hybrid Dwight, Solo Reactor, Booty Cheeks, Ricky Gaga, Josh, Lee Majors, RJ, Potato Gaming, uh, Carrie Wright, and uh, Paul, Goring, Montrevious, Chris, and Punk Rar, No Lie, and NRC, and Emmanuel, Daniel, and Chris Lavelle, and Like Until Done. Yeah, so I don't know. It's only going to be the first episode, so I don't know how much we're actually going to learn in the first episode. Uh, like I said, it is five episodes. I do expect it will, will probably end on a cliffhanger, similar to most Telltale games, how they always end and make you want to play the next one. Um, I don't know when the next episode will be out after this one. I'm not exactly sure how long it will take either, but I am intending to play this full episode through in this one sitting. Um, let me just make sure everything is good here. going to tab over into the game. All right, so we're just gonna go save game. And yeah, like there is five episodes. Don't know when we're gonna get this one though. I, uh, and we're gonna start off, looks like there's four sections to this first chap, five sections to this chapter. We got the prologue and then the four chapters into this one, this one episode here. Um, I doubt anybody's gonna have spoilers. This game just came out today. So unless you bought it today, and I'll be honest, it's not the full game out yet, so I, I could totally people see people not buying it immediately. But yeah, we're just gonna go and give it a shot. Let's go play episode. Oh, I have to hold it. Hold. Hold it. All right, so gonna get jump into this. J Mac, hello, Zach, and Star Rainbow. I'm a failure. Hello. <laughs> I don't think it's going to be only 30 minutes. We'll see, though. I don't know. As long Stop. as it takes, it takes. You're not getting anywhere with this von Borschert. You know, I kind of get the same feeling, my dear Sarah. Listen. Wow, it just gets right into it, eh? Nothing. <laughs> not a sound. No one's coming to save you. Huh. That's what you think. The Golden Order knows exactly where we are. <laughs> By the time your ridiculous secret society turns up, I'll be long gone. As for you, nothing will remain of your body. If you touch a single hair on my mother's head, I'll skin you alive. You know, Louis, I have no intention of beating your dear mother. There are more persuasive ways of making you talk. Okay. It just jumps right into this. Yeah, no dead by daylight tonight. Stolen something from me that I intend to get back. There's a gun on the table. Where have you hidden it? Von Borschert, you can't sell that book on the black market anymore. This is finished. We know you're planning on selling it at one of Lord Mortimer's parties. All right? Just tell us who the buyer is and we can make a deal. You've no idea of the trouble you've gotten yourselves into. Oh, All right. but you will tell me where it's hidden. I can promise you that. Oh, stop annoying our host, Louis. <laughs> Son, didn't what happened to you in Rome teach you anything? What happened in Rome? Just a few more minutes and my concoction will be ready. I guess I was supposed to be a hint at something that... With this, your bodies will dissolve in less than four hours. You'll see. It loosens tongues in no time. You know, I have to admit, Mother, the only thing you've ever taught me is that damn motto of yours. Always remain rational. And open. I got it. I've opened the shackles. Draw him over here. I'll take care of him. Von Borchardt. Von Borchardt. Mm hmm? Listen, let's make a deal. I'll tell you where the book is if you let my mother go free. Oh, what are you playing at? Don't worry, mother. 
You want to play the hero. Pity you're not in any position to do so. <laughs> For the last time. Where is Alazif? Let me do this. Trust me. Oh. Choices already. No time limit. Do we trust her or do we do stuff? She did say that we should trust her. Yeah, this is... Okay, we weren't getting choices already. That's really quick. And hello, Zoe. And Predator, hello. Jose, hello. And Chrissy. Uh, what is this game about? So it kind of just threw us into this. We are tied up. I'm not sure why. Um, yeah, you guys know as much as I do. Uh, this game is scary. Uh, no, no. It's a, it's a story-driven game. I don't think it's going to be scary. I think we should trust our mommy. I think that's a great idea. Please, be my guest, mother. Mm. Oh, snap! Well done, Louis. You reacted perfectly. How do you feel, Mother? We made Mummy proud. Be better. He's alive, so I can't question him after we get back. <laughs> Insomniac. Pity he's just a middleman. Hmm. Means I haven't finished with this case. Oh, I had a feeling you'd be running off on one of your adventures again, Mother. You know what? I'm warning you. This time, I'm coming with you. No. Even though you impress me more and more, I have to do this on my own. Mother, the you're no spring chicken. Lip animations anymore. could use some work. Come on, let's go home. And don't forget to send our men to tend to Von Borchardt. I mean, I feel like we should kill this guy. I feel like we should kill this guy before he reports back to whoever he's going to report back to. Don't bring a knife to a gunfight. Yeah. One month later. Okay. So maybe we'll know what's going on now. Hey, John Croft. Hello. Impressive noob. Hello. Gyro. Hello. Lord Murmur's Island off the coast of England. You know, when they first started talking, I expected them to have British accents. I'm actually surprised that they didn't. <laughs> Alrighty. 1793. Yep. Is this a telltale game? No, it's not. Well done, Mother. You just had to pick up Von Burchard's trail on your own, didn't you? You ditch me in Paris with no explanation, and off you go to infiltrate one of the world-renowned receptions of this Lord Mortimer. And now he writes me to say that you've gone missing on his private island? Which, oh. by the way, looks more like a big rock than a paradise island. Our mother is missing. Episode one, the mad ones. Can someone get you caught up in game? The game just started. You have not missed the anything. Least he could do is explain <laughs> to me how he managed to lose you. In any case, it is time for you to stop all this, mother. It no longer suits your age. Well, I'm sure I'll find you once again, slogging through the caves beneath the island searching for some long-lost oh, mystical know. object that you just can't live without. I'm already hating this trip, and all I've done is think it? about it. Contrary to what one may be able to imagine, it was not the host himself who invited me. Well now, Duchess, we find ourselves both invited by Sir Hall. Well, how very amusing. Perhaps we have some common interests, Your Eminence. Is this your first time at one of Lord Mortimer's legendary parties? Oh, no. We have been friends since long Legendary ago. party. But as I'm doing some business with Sarhon, the invitation came from him. Well, I simply can't wait for all the festivities to begin. And you good, sir. What brings you here? I mean, it's kind of both. But yeah, I guess we're going to say business. Me to join him. It's not his business. We have some business to take care of. Oh, how mysterious. You adapt quickly, my son. You get along here like a fish in water. Would you believe that we are all here hoping to solve our personal issues? You'll see. <laughs> right. I doubt that you came here to look for your mother, your eminence. Anyway, consider yourself fortunate, young man, because there are many who dream of simply one day setting foot on this island. 
and only a very few ever make it. Indeed, I imagine this must be your first time here. I mean, it is, but let's let's talk about the other person. Hey, Sarah, sorry, and hello, and Demarcus, hello. Yeah, the the lips the lip sync uh, and with the voices, it doesn't match. Um, and you, Duchess? Try you not seem to pay to too much attention to that. Accustomed to things here, am I right? I do not think that one can ever get accustomed to what Lord Mortimer prepares for his guests. But you are right. This is not the first time I've been on this wharf. If you've come back again, I imagine you must find it to be of some interest. Here, everything is possible if you make the right choices. It really is up to you whether you leave better off or not. Please excuse me if you find me overly curious, young man. I did not mean to cause you any embarrassment. Come, Duchess. They are waiting for us. We're moving, Monsieur de Richet, if you would like to join us. I'm coming, Duchess. A cardinal? A Duchess? I wonder if all the guests here are this prestigious. If I'd known, I, I would have gone for a better suit. Ah! Hmm? What? Are you all right? Oh. What's going on here? Uh... She's got the shakes. <laughs> Jasmine, hello. Mother? Oh shit, your hand. The fuck? So? Okay, it's done. Did you put it in a safe place? Yes. I made sure no one was following me. Don't worry, Sarah, no one's going to find it. Are you absolutely sure? Yes, I'm sure. <laughs> I don't right. know, guys. Just one thing left to no, do. No, mother, don't, don't! What? Have you lost your mind? There's no other way. If you, if you kill me, you won't find it. That is the point, my dear. No one must ever put their hands on it again. No. But I trusted you. No, sir. Don't. No. Who is that, no. dude? <gasps> you can run if you want to, Sarah, but you will pay for <sighs> You. Uh, Louis, are you all right? What's going on? What? I don't know how he's seen that. What's going on? Louis, take this. I'm sorry. Keep it. Are you better? Are you better? I'm fine. Don't worry. It's getting late. Why don't Why don't you just go on ahead and I'll catch up with you, okay? Are you sure? Yes. I'm sorry. I'm sure. Yes. Fine. Yeah, I don't know what that vision was of. I'm not sure. That's really bizarre. I definitely have to find Mother quickly. Hello, Earl. Am I going crazy or, or what? This can't be real. That right. that just arrived with me. Can we sprint? What's happening to me, for God's sake? Oh, we can. Okay. I absolutely need to find you, Mother. Ooh, the controls. Um, don't feel very good. Louis, during the trip, I had something I wanted to ask you. I'm confused, you guys. happened to run into each other? Yes, Duchess? I'm not sure if you remember, but we've met before. At that time, you were of two minds as to your choice of career. Tell me, what have you been up to since? Oh! Are we a detective, an occultist, or a diplomat? A master of deception. Alright, so this defines our basic skills. Other skills will be available, but unlocking them will be more expensive. Trade to detail and surroundings. Ooh, deceive people. Or just be a talented speaker. I feel like we should be an occultist. I feel like we should be a deceptive person. Using others to achieve his own ends does not bother him. I mean... I don't know. I feel like occultists. Oh, manipulation, occultism, 
erudition, sciences and subterfuges, politics, etiquette, linguistics, conviction and diversion. Questioning, vigilance, psychology, agility and logic. Oh yeah, let's let's manipulate the hell out of people. We have three skill points. All right, I'm just wondering, like, how to get the other stuff. Um, up to date with scientific knowledge, occultism, relying on knowledge of myths, occult, and religious symbols, as well as ancient languages and secret societies. Okay, let's get. They give dialogue options. What's down here? Manipulation. That sounds like fun. Although I like to steal. Hmm, do we want to manipulate people or do we want to steal things? I feel like we should steal things. Is this game like Fallout? I mean, it does have RPG elements. Um, that's what, like, somebody I was asking for was Telltale. No, it's not Telltale, but it is similar in cases where choices matter and there's a lot of choices to make. Uh, but then it does have these RPG elements of the skills, the level, the XP. I mean, manipulation is fun. But, I kind of want both. Can I get both? I like to steal things. I'm like total klepto in games like Skyrim and Fallout. Wait. Oh, we already have one point in this. Oh, so you don't have to get anything up to it. I want to steal shit though. We've nested seven points. So we get, so you get, there's four points per thing, it looks like. I kind of think we should get one point to just open up more dialogue stuff, though. This one unlocks dialogue as well. Manipulation sounds like fucking awesome, though. Alright, let's go. And. Yeah, let's, let's. Oh, man. Let's go two and two. Subterfuge and uh, manipulation. Alright, that's what we're gonna do. Yeah, we're gonna steal things. I have been and we're gonna manipulate all people, sorts hopefully. Of unsolved cases. Have you ever heard of the Abbey of Hexham? Uh vaguely. An ingenious scam involving mass manipulation Boobs. on a scale never seen before. <laughs> hmm. There was a cavern under the Abbey, wasn't there? Exactly. The wind would blow in through spouts, creating a, a terrifying howling sound. So, to stop the howling, the priests called for offerings from the peasants. And if they brought enough money, I'm guessing the priests stopped the howling. A perfect trick to fool simple souls. Admit it, Duchess. That story kept you in suspense, <laughs> didn't it? Yes, it did. I'm delighted to find out that you were the young and brilliant French investigator. For someone who only remembers the case vaguely, your memories are very clear. Well, they say I have the memory of two people. But please, call me Emily. Fine, Emily. Tell me, I was actually helped on that case by my mother. You wouldn't know her by any chance. Wait, Louis. We've already met. You do remember me, don't you? Hmm? Not at all. I mean, I'm please gonna be honest. Excuse me, madam. I'm sure we've remember. met before, but I don't remember hey, where. Hmm. Nicole, hello. I appreciate your honesty, even if it's not very flattering for me. <laughs> I imagine that with your beauty, madam, it's the first time a man hasn't remembered your face. Well, I must say, you make up for yourself rather elegantly. <laughs> Please stop torturing me. I'm completely at your mercy. Where have we met? Four years ago, in London? No, sorry. I don't remember. In the office of William Pitt. Remember? No? I am so sorry, Emily, but I really don't remember you. Let's drop it, Louis. It doesn't matter. Right, hey, time to go to the manor. <laughs> Alright, opportunities. Your skills allow you to discover hidden details. Select the object that is most suggestive of the situation in order to discover them. Opportunities do not consume effort points to access the skill required for the situation. You just need to have it unlocked. I ask her a question, she answers with another. Is she playing with me? 
All right. Personality. Each person you meet on the island has their own personality, which makes them vulnerable to certain skills and immune to others. Exploiting their personality is crucial to achieve your personal goals. Skills used against immunities will not succeed and leave you exhausted. Meanwhile, exploited vulnerabilities will give you back one effort point. All right. Review immunities, vulnerabilities in the journal tab in the menu. All right. Emily, please excuse my insisting, but you still haven't answered about my mother. Do you know her? You'll see, Louis. Everybody here knows Sarah de Richet. I don't know where we're going like this, Emily. All right. But you're connected to my mother one way or another. She's not giving me I any answers. My vision, you don't have much of a place in her heart. All right. Talents. You obtain talents when carrying out certain actions. Remember to review their unlock conditions and effects as they offer very interesting improvements. Review all talents in the dedicated tab in the menu. Alright, we got some stuff over here to look at. Royal Jelly. Effort points. Alright, uh, you cannot carry more than five of these. All right, I think we just looted that. So we have an inventory. Okay, so we got inventory. Talents. Oh wow, there's a lot of talents and stuff. Jeez, traits? Occultists, trusting. Ah, because we trusted our mother, it actually gives us a talent point from early on. And that was because of our uh, occultist stuff, okay. To be discovered, to be discovered. She's immune to logic. We don't know what her uh, in her vulnerability is, though. All right, that's interesting. And then we have our inventory here, handkerchief. All right. Must be an incredible view from up there. Impossible to set foot on the island without being seen. See you later, Rogue Marshmallow. Away. All right, do we have any other stuff we can uh, take or should we just head up? All right, the sensitivity is really annoying. Let's put it up to like. All right, that's a little better. Good evening, sir. May I ask your name, please? Louis Moras de Richet. Monsieur de Richet, delighted to welcome you among us, sir. Nice mask. You must be Sarah de Richet's son. I must tell you, we are doing our utmost to find your mother as quickly as possible. Hmm. Who's this dude? What do you Can know you about tell my me mother? About the disappearance of my mother. Two weeks have passed since Sarah's mother went missing. All the staff here have since been busy searching every nook and cranny of the island. But sir, may rest assured, we shouldn't be long in finding her. And just what have you found so far? It would seem that Sir's mother may be hiding on the island and regularly changing her location. But no one seems to know why she would find this behavior necessary. What do you mean? On several occasions, we have found leftovers of food, a few of her things, or even traces of campsites. The reason why we are searching the wharf again is because lights were spotted there last night. Where we are now? Indeed, sir. According to our information, lights were seen in the middle of the night, sir. After verification, none of the guests seem to have left the manor last night. We think that perhaps Sir's mother was here. Skills. Your skills give you access to unique choices and actions at the cost of effort points. The higher your skill level, the lower the cost in effort points. All right. Difficulty zero. Questioning locked. Okay, so we can't even do that one. Ah. Did anyone see anything else? So that one was locked. Not, sir. Only lights were seen by servants of the manor, sir. And as I was saying, sir, all the guests were asleep, and no one seems to have noticed anything at all. We seem to have found an object that would appear to belong to sir's mother. A handkerchief. The handkerchief is embroidered with the initials... S 
D.R. We came to the conclusion that they are the initials of Sir's mother, Sarah de Richet. I have orders to give it to Lord Mortimer as soon as I see him. Okay. I know my mother. She's not the kind to go for a midnight stroll on the wharf for nothing. I've got to find out what the hell she was doing here. Where exactly did you find the handkerchief? On the landing dock, sir. The one you arrived by. Manipulation! Pass me the handkerchief. But, but sir, my orders <laughs> were to give it to my master. Are you refusing to give me my own mother's personal belongings? Even though she was greatly looking forward to meeting your master, she's gone missing. And you seem incapable of finding her. Oh, but sir, please. And We're to top it all mean, off, you refuse to give me the handkerchief that she so often let me use? Do I deserve such little consideration in your eyes? Is that what you wish me to report to your master? No, certainly not, sir. Wow. Please forgive me, sir. I have been such an idiot. Here you are. <laughs> Hey, Windfire, how's it going? Spider guy, hello. Damn. It is indeed your handkerchief, mother. You must have come here for a specific reason. I need to know what it is. Let's think. What could she have been doing out here on this wharf? What's over here? So yes, yeah, so we access the servant. Servants. Vulnerable to manipulation. I like how they didn't want to animate the, the faces, though. They just put them on masks. That's awesome. Looks like the barrel's been broken for quite some time. Look at all these little clues. What is this? I know, I feel bad. I made him feel like an idiot. This miserable old bar has been broken fairly recently. The edges are still clean. And the tip is blackened. Without analysis to the contrary, I put my money on cannon powder. This might just come in handy. Yes! If I can pick it up, I'm taking it with me. Straight up. I'm taking everything I fucking pick up. It's unopened. No one seems to have used any. Some more royal jelly. What's this? Some rope. Apparently, no one's touched it for a good long time. What's this boat? Mail? Let's see what's hidden inside. <laughs> Steel City King. No, no balls yet. Logic is locked. Oh, we don't have. Oh, maybe we should want detective. Let's look. Jose, thank you so much for that super chat. Let's look at all the it's letters. No, it's not a scary game. Out the address. The address is 50 Bedford Square, London. Oh, there it popped up. Thank you so much, Jose. The address is in Sao Paulo, Brazil. That reminds me, it's about time the order sent some envoys there. The order. Hmm. A letter written in an oriental language. Hey, Ellen Media. And Captain, hello. I'm not smart. I don't have linguistics. The slightest idea what it says. Probably a Dutchman. There's a lot of letters. Samuel Ritter Doshua. <laughs> Mother, you test me even when you're not here. It's an anagram of Louis Moras de Riche. Oh, we're you smart. Write to me then. Let's see what's inside this letter. So. A clue. Dear Samuel, my stay on Lord Mortimer's Island is going wonderfully well. As I find myself in such charming company, I plan to stay a few more weeks. Would you be so kind as to send me a gift that I'd like to give to our old friend Manuel Godoy? I would be most grateful. I have been told that he's going to join us here soon. I would like to mark the occasion. Thank you in advance. Yours devotedly, Sarah Faustine de Richer. 
Hmm. What's your game here, mother? I don't know. These strange turns of phrase. I've never heard you speak like that. What's going on here? That you write to me under a pen name, okay. But here you go even further by trying to avoid raising any suspicions should anyone else read it. I wonder if this Godoy is the person you came looking for. Think. Godoy, Godoy, Manuel Godoy. Why does that name sound so familiar? I have no idea. It's locked. I'm guessing he's a man of some importance. Spanish, I'd say. But just can't put a face to him. Well, hope we meet to talk about it soon, Mother. I don't know what you've gotten yourself into this time, but I'll bet you've got a lot to tell me. Hmm. So is there more letters I can look at, though? I mean, there, there might be more. Inside. Let's look. Because I didn't look at them all. We did those ones already. The address is 50 Bedford Square. No, no, London. I didn't click that one. I clicked the one below to examine more letters. There we go. Because that was the second one here. And we haven't checked this one. This envelope is meant for the Vatican. The Vatican. Apparently this letter is meant for Pope Pius VI, born Giovanni Brasci. I wonder which one of these people is influential enough to write to the Pope in person. I don't know. But we did learn something else, sort of. All right, I think that's all that's over here. Let's go back, back to where we were. Uh, this game just started, what, like 30 minutes ago? Oh, there's something here. I think this chest might belong to Duchess Hillsborough. Can we open it? No? Ah, there's a gate here. Oh, what's that? More royal jelly? I feel like we're gonna need that at some point, so... A wooden floorboard. Probably comes from this part of the wharf. The wood is slightly eaten away, of course, but it still would've been fine if it weren't smashed. Hmm. What's that? Is there something in there? Hey, there's something not right about this floorboard. It's different from the rest. It's been replaced. Oh, I don't have the agility. Oh, the rusty iron bar. Oh, snappy. What did we find? Let's see what's hidden inside. There's a book and also a bag. Steal it. The Mysterium Cosmographicum. I know that book well. Mother used to read passages from it to me all the time. And judging from what I can see, it's the same one as hers. For crying out loud, what's happened to you, Mother? She's hiding for some reason. Manuscripts. Manuscripts allow you to educate yourself during the adventure. At the start of each quest, you can choose what to read and gain permanent skill points. Find your manuscripts by using the inventory tab on the menu. Okay. Let's look inside the bag. All right, it wants to look at the bag first. A few toiletries, a small key, and some kind of black powder. Examine all the things. Some fruit, a piece of bacon, and bacon. some bread. The fruit's still firm. The bread's a bit stale. <laughs> From the smell, this food's been here roughly two days. How would you if guess it's that? it's rationed, there's enough left to last two more days. Shit. Those are definitely my mother's things. I recognize her hairpins. This bag smells of her perfume. A piece of soap. Some oils and her powder puff. But what does all this mean? That she put it here? Hey, Moonchan! An iron key completely rusted. You never know. It might be useful. 
I hope Mother wasn't counting on it. We probably right. shouldn't have taken that. Just in case, I'll take it all. I'll give it back to Mother when I see her. I'm crying out loud. Why did you hide supplies in the middle of nowhere, Mother? I don't know what's going on here, but you obviously feel like you're in danger. The key? We have a key. Open barehanded. I mean, we have the key. Is this the key for it? Uh, there it we is. Are. Okay. So we could have lockpicked that, but it would have costed points. So I may as well use the key, right? Amber fragments. Each time you pick up four of them, you increase your maximum effort points by one. Okay, cool. Amber crystals. Hmm, this wharf is used as storage for a lot of barrels. Uh-huh. What have we here? It's cannon powder. Hmm, the powder's wet. Not surprising, given the dampness of the dock. It's unusable now. I don't know what the person who left this barrel like this had in mind, but it's a waste. Maybe it was done on purpose? Maybe his mom found out that somebody was going to do something to somebody else? Great. Honey, this looks like a pistol case, but it's empty. I don't know if this has anything to do with you, Mother, but if it does, at least now you're armed. Just like in my vision. <laughs> None of it's telling me anything useful. So, let's go through this. My mother's been hiding pieces of bread between the rotten boards of the wharf in the middle of the night. That's not normal. And if that weren't enough, it looks now like she's armed. Meanwhile, she also takes the time to send out letters, reassuring whoever might be interested that she's having a fabulous time here. So <laughs> odd. So very odd. And that's not even all I've noticed. But maybe I had to move on to the manor now. They'll be waiting for me. All right. Latin hey, Paper Jim. I hope you feel better, man. It's no fun being sick. Mi fili quantilia prudencia mundus What? I don't know what that means. I mean, we can translate it. You don't know, my son, how little wisdom the world is governed with. I tend to agree. Oh, we discovered an immunity. What was that immunity? Uh, what did we discover? Where is that? Character, right? No. How do you see... The weaknesses and stuff. Okay, so it was Mortimer. He's immune to conviction. Alright. Up we go! Ate too much last night, got your stomach got upset. How did Mortimer manage to build his man Been there, at the top done of a rocky outcrop? Dude is rich as fuck, that's how. statue of some dude impressive ah my son i was looking for you what can i do for you your eminence i wanted to ask you you are the son of sada derice aren't you you see your mother and i were supposed to meet here on this very spot i was supposed to hand her a very important envelope but i haven't seen her if only mother had told me why she was coming here Anyway, I ought to take the envelope. It might have something to do with her disappearance. Listen, if it will help, you can always Confrontation? Give it to me. Oh, snap. Confrontations. So during a confrontation, you have to go through several steps while being as persuasive as possible. 
confrontations have consequences on the rest of the story, so don't hesitate to use your skills. Each confrontation displays an interface showing you how much the person you are talking to is convinced. Well, thank you, my son. I'll bear that in mind. I'd rather deal with her directly. Don't take it personally. Would you happen to know if your mother has arrived yet? Certainly, your eminence. Mother got here some time ago. I was hoping to find her when I arrived, but given the hour, she must be asleep by now. Right. I yes. shall see her tomorrow, then. By the way, your eminence... In Europe! I wasn't aware you knew my mother. Ah, uh, if you only knew my son, I hold your mother in the highest of God. She has rendered great service to the church, and her help is invaluable. I hope that you will follow in her footsteps. <sighs> Only she had told me where she was headed. Nonetheless, our exchanges have always been discreet, and I should like them to remain as such. If your mother wishes to speak to you about us one day, I will not mind if she does so. That is commendable. But as we work together on a daily basis, it is surely just an oversight. Most certain. Uh, you said you work together. What do you do exactly? Wow, um... I... That's gonna cost a lot of my points. Uh, you guys can't see it because it's under my face, but I only have four points left, and this will cost three of them. My mother and I belong to the same secret organization, the Golden Order, which I joined a few years ago. Mother trained me, and I assist in her a research. secret organization. In I'm going to tell her all, tell them all about it. <laughs> My child, you are telling a perfect stranger that you and your mother <laughs> work for a secret society. It would seem that discretion is not one of your specialities, my son. You will understand that it does not encourage me to put my trust in My you. bad. Shit. All the same, it bothers me to see you in a quandary, your <laughs> Is there any other solution? <laughs> Look, if it's of any help, you can My always bad. leave your envelope with me and I'll give it to her as soon as I see her. Uh, I uh, hesitate. Yeah, I, I don't Up blame you. now, <laughs> we have always dealt with her in person. Addison, hello! Uh, that has always been successful. Do you think I should give it to you? Don't worry, Your Eminence. Your secret is safe with me. You know my mother's reputation. As her son, I will defend the Dorishe's word with the same fervor. Ah, I would expect nothing. Hopefully that one worked. Listen to me, my child. If I give you the letter, can you promise me before God that no one other than your mother would read it? Confrontation, last step. For the last step in confrontation, you must convince the person you are talking to by giving a positive answer. If you give a bad, bad answer, the step will repeat itself until you either give a right one or you have no blunders left. The last step will repeat itself if you fail. Okay. Uh... Okay, no worries, or I don't believe in his God. I mean, I feel like he's not gonna... That's not gonna work. I swear by the almighty there. God... Just tell him what he wants to hear. promise that no one but my mother shall cast her gaze upon your letter. Good. Listen, let's stop there. I'm going to tell you... I'm reliable, secret. guys. Your mother and I are organizing the escape of a large number of French priests who face a massacre organized by the cursed Republican tribunals. The church is literally being bled like a beast. Without your mother, hundreds of men of the cloth would have gone to the guillotine. She has made the services of your order available to us by organizing the priests' safe passage across the borders. Even if she does not share all our convictions, she always provided assistance. 
Young man, you can be proud to be her son. Be it only for her sake. Always respect your name. Here. Yes, sir. The letter I spoke of. It includes a list of about 15 names ready for departure. Be quick. Remember to tell Sarah when you see her. That time is short. All right. Well played. I'll decide later when I'm alone whether to look at what it contains. Oh, I'll definitely look at it. Hidden elements. Many clues and items are hidden. Some of them will have an impact on your adventure, so do not hesitate to look for them. Uh, Fentel, the mystery is our mother came to this place and she's disappeared and we don't know where, we don't know why, so we're looking for her. Uh, and then we get here, we had this vision of her shooting, uh, not me, but it felt like me, but it was, a. Uh, it seemed like she was shooting the Duchess person who kind of gave us a lot of non-answers when we tried to talk to her. Okay, so we got the letter from the priest, dude. Lives of the Noble Greeks and Romans by Plutarch. A biography of the great men. Open to Brutus's page. Caesar, stabbed by multiple blows at once, sees Brutus raise the dagger on him. Then, covering his head with his robe, he delivers himself to the arms of the conspirators. Nice family. Let's keep it. Might come in handy someday. We're stealing a book. <laughs> We're stealing a book. Hey, baby. All right, so we're looking I for clues. I thought my chimney was big, but this one is beyond belief. Ooh, his chimney's big. It's the least big. one can say. <laughs> I've been longing for a warm fire for ages. Since I set foot on the island, I haven't ventured more than two yards away from it. Have you also just arrived? Oh, late morning, I'd say. Louis, come join us. Monsieur, may I introduce you to Monsieur? <laughs> I don't know where he put the book. Piaggi. He joins us straight from Rome. Down his pants? I don't oh, know. Oh, just call me Your Eminence. It's simple. George Washington, President of the United States of America. Delighted at last to make your acquaintance, Mr. President. Pleased to meet you, Mr. President. Louis Maurras de Richet. It is an honor to meet you. Young man, let's keep it simple, please. Let us forget our fancy titles. Nice to meet you, Louis. I should imagine you never thought you'd be in such company. I must admit that I didn't. It's the first time that I've ever met so many illustrious personalities. And you haven't seen anything yet. Generally, when Lord Mortimer organizes one of his receptions, there are over a dozen people here. They can't all be here yet. And you'll see, most of the time, there's only the upper crust. And I noticed you were already getting to know his eminence at the entrance. It's the perfect place to build up a network. What were you talking about, if you forgive my indiscretion? At the risk of disappointing you, we weren't conspiring in our corner, sir. His eminence was simply telling me that he knew my mother and how much he held her in high esteem. It yes. so happens that Monsieur de Riche's mother is to join us. Oh, pity. No scrumptious gossip or juicy tidbits, unmentionable secrets, or even <laughs> money matters. But you'll see, it will come. Despite all the goodwill in the world, you can't stop people scheming left and right around oh, here. Speak for yourself, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Well, my friends. Yep, Do there's them boobs you again. Know the reason why we're here this time? Not in the slightest. As for me, hey, I've been guy. invited by Sir Horn, a close friend of Lord Mortimer. But uh, I do not know the reason why. You see, Louis, every time Lord Mortimer organizes a reception, he always finds a moment to set up a chat with all the guests. During which time we remake the world. Accompanied by gallons of absinthe and cussing, I'll leave you to imagine the result. So, if I understand rightly, Monsieur de Richet, you've come out here to join your mother. For what reason, exactly? Like you, Mr. President, I'm here as We're a making result shit of Lord up. Mortimer's invitation. Two members of the same family here. We're special. That is rare. You know what they say. You can pick your nose, but you can't pick your family. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard that before. 
It sounds Seriously, weird. Seriously, though, I know your mother well. Stay behind with me afterwards, and we'll take a moment to speak about her. Dialogue timer. Um, dialogue timer is over and answer is automatically selected. Alright, well, I clicked one. I clicked it! Good evening, my friend. I click oh, oh bullshit! I That's click that. That's the name for my vision. An urgent case has delayed oh, our host, Lord Mortimer. He can't be present this evening, and he sends his deepest apologies. Dude, that makeup He's though. Me here and he hasn't even turned up. Great start. Do you know that man? Sir Gregory Holm, an English aristocrat, very influential. He's also close to Lord Mortimer. So, don't be surprised if he acts like he's at home. And now, my dear guests, a light meal is served in the small salon. For those who would like to, you're invited to follow me into the next room. That makes My dear though. fellow, those eyebrows. you must have read my thoughts. I shall follow. We'll have to be careful not to make too much noise. One of Lord Mortimer's guests is relaxing. Oh, we shall be quiet. Don't take it the wrong way, Sir Holm, but I have already eaten. Thus, I shall be happy to remain by the fireside. If you don't mind, Gregory, I should like to keep Mr. Washington company. Please feel at home. And you, sir? If I stay with Washington, we'll be able to speak about my mother. But on the other hand, I'd like to learn more about this home. I saw him in my vision. Oh. Oh, we got a choice to make again. Uh, at least there's no timer for this choice. I mean, Washington said he had something to say, but I don't think he's going to be able to see anything when uh, that chick is there. Um, I don't know. This is totally Agatha Christie. <laughs> uh, I kind of want to see what this guy knows. Dude, his face, though. I, I don't know if he's going to say much with her there. Um, I, he said he would catch up with me later, too, so. Yeah, I think we're gonna go with home. Dude. My vision is more important. Let's follow home. I'll follow you, sir. Mr. Washington, I hope to speak with you at greater length on another occasion. Emily, please excuse me, but I would like to speak to Sir Home. I shall see you later. All right. My friend, I hope our dear Giovanni is well. Ah, the troubles in France have fatigued him, but he will recover slowly. Do not fear. Who's that guy? He apologizes for remaining in Rome. The voyage was too much for him. And right he was too. The mildness of the Mediterranean, eh? Come, sit down and have something to eat, my friend. You look rather pale. Oh, I didn't have politics. Excuse Shit. me, sir. I have been neglecting my duty. I haven't introduced myself. Sir Gregory Holm, an old friend of Lord Mortimer. God, his A face. real pleasure, sir. You who must be well used to the court of France. <gasps> Avicen. How do you find this peaceful little haven? Charming, if I hadn't come here for disturbing reasons. Yes, I heard the news. What a story. Indeed. I wanted to ask you. You seem to know my mother well. Is that true? <laughs> Who does not know of her, sir? She has such a wide circle that everyone knows your mother from a distance or closer. Everyone knows <laughs> Sarah, my son. But you only know her by her reputation. I remember she once worked for the Crown of England and that she always honors her engagements. However, we have never been personally introduced, sadly. Well, if I'm to believe my vision, you're not going to get along with her. <laughs> Thank you for your answers, Sir Holm. But I beg your pardon. I get the impression I know you. Have we met? Except in my dreams, of course. Not that I remember, young man. Uh, perhaps you are mistaking me for another member of the Chamber of Lords. And what with the wig and the powder, it wouldn't be the first time. No, you were definitely the one I saw threatening my mother. I thought, never mind. It'll come back to me. Would you allow Who's me that? one last question, sir? I don't want to take up all your time. Uh, please, go ahead. Um, what do you want to know? Oh, we get one question. 
Sir, do you know Emily Hillsborough? Oh, Madame La Duchesse. Of course. La Duchesse. I who invited her to the island. In addition to mutual business we wanted to talk about, I absolutely wanted to introduce her to Lord Mortimer. Do you know of any link between her and my mother? Not really, no. They may well have met at the court of King George, but I can't be sure about that. No dispute between them, then? Not to my knowledge, no. And even if Duchess Hillsborough is a complex woman to understand, I honestly can't imagine her in the conflict with the famous Sara de Ricci. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> Elizabeth! She poisoned? I should have insisted that you rest in your room. Do you want me to call someone? Dude. Let me handle this. I'm used to this kind of thing. Miss, can can you hear me? Leave me. A slight arrhythmia, nothing too serious. Do you often feel faint? Leave me alone. Did yes, her? Elizabeth suffers from poor health. Her fits are part of her daily life. I would guess it's more like an anxiety attack, as if something had suddenly terrorized her. She reeks of laudanum, though. Are you receiving any regular medical treatment, miss? Miss Adams, are you receiving any medical treatment? No, Ow. I think she's talking. I don't know what you have to be afraid of yet, miss, but trying to drive out your demons with drugs won't do much good. Can you tell me something about her? Who is this young lady? Elizabeth Adams. She's come to the island for a course of treatment, to rest. For a course of treatment? That's right. That's weird. Sia can do wonders. Are you all right, Elizabeth? <laughs> do you feel any better? When did she Yeah, arrive? we're on an island. Uh, four days ago. OK. My mother had already gone missing. She might know something, though. Maybe that's why she's having the panic attacks, because she's afraid? Are you all right, Elizabeth? You gave us quite a fright. Take it easy, miss. Let me. I just need to get back to my room. Of course, my dear. Go ahead. You saw it, didn't you? Pardon me? He's saying it de la bestia. Sorry, the what? your eminence. I don't speak Italian. Ah, forget it. It doesn't matter. Gentlemen, it's getting... All right. It is time for everyone to go to bed. It has been a long day. Hmm. Hey, Lulu. Damn. It's all hey, the more delicate. I'll see what I can do, but the case I'm on at the moment might well leave me with very few opportunities. Dude, she is tripping. It's my bedtime? No, it's not, Eastern. Well, I am it's impressed not. with all this splendor. But don't spend too much time with Mr. Washington, my dear, or you'll lose your pretty accent. <laughs> <laughs> you seem to be intrigued by that statue. Absolutely. It is remarkable. It's fucking huge. Lord Mortimer is fond of atypical. Ah, oh, I don't have the skill. Stop I telling me about it. I disguise the fact that I find it all a little megalomaniacal, but I must say he does have some outstanding pieces. The statue is impressive, and so are the paintings. Rubens, the Caravage, Gennaro. Lord Mortimer has very good taste and the means to express it. No, oh, I see our young sir is a connoisseur. Ooh. Yes, in my spare time. Yet, I couldn't tell you who the artist of that <laughs> That's there creepy. is. I think I recognize a theme, but the style intrigues me. Ah. Saturn devouring his son. Oh, well, you wouldn't know. And the artist is none other than Lord Mortimer. I thought for a long time that the painting wasn't finished, but my old friend assured me it was. Still, there's no accounting for taste. <laughs> Not very conventional, but it sure does hold your attention. I mean, it's... You'll find that Lord dude Mortimer is somebody. not what one would call conventional, Monsieur de Richet. Sir Holm, who was that young lady with you? Elizabeth Adams, Mr. President. 
She would have liked to have stayed with us, but the poor thing is exhausted. Elizabeth Adams? Miss Adams Am I is here to know to that best. Name? You have perhaps already come across her in the corridors. She arrived a few days ago. I perceived her, but we weren't introduced. He's like dressed as here. She is not here for the same reasons as yourselves. Consequently, I'm counting on your indulgence. On that note, it's very late. You must be exhausted. The servant will accompany you to your rooms. All right. I kind of don't like when it tells me that I fail things I have no chance to even try to do. That's kind of annoying, but it's. I think it's just trying to show you that you can play Ladies, it other ways. Gentlemen, I bid you all good night. Mr. President, Your Eminence, Duchess, you have the same rooms as usual. You, Monsieur de Richet, will find your room at the end of the corridor. Well, my friends, I am bone tired. I am off to my bed. See you in the morning. Good night, sir. I shall do likewise. Louis, I shall see you in the morning. Sleep well. Good night. See you tomorrow. Oh, man. It's been quite a day. Mm-hmm. Right. Where is my room? All right. Just give me a sec. Extremely is us. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the family. So I didn't want to talk to her in the cutscenes. And I'm like, this is... We're, we're on a case. We're looking for our mother. That's she came to this place. Thing. And then she went missing, and the the guy who owns the place is uh, wanting our help. Can we go downstairs? Do we have we can't go down. Okay. So we're gonna. I'm just gonna look around for some clues before we go to bed. Collector coins. Okay, that's the Duchess's room. Duke Manuel Godoy. Godoy! Hey, that's that dude we saw the- we heard his name earlier. Which room is ours? Is it that way? Or this way? We don't want to go to our room yet. Uh, what is this place? A religious thing or hospital? I- I think it's just like some mansion. Some rich dude. His eminence Cardinal Piaggi. I'm looking for some stuff. If this is our room, we're not gonna go here. Oh, is it all connected? Even with the sensitivity up, I find like my mouse is fighting with me. President George Washington. I don't think we can go in there. Yeah, it doesn't let you. Everything is locked. This place is huge. Oh, I thought I could interact with that. Where is our room at? Monsieur Johann von Wunder. Everything is locked. Huh. Oh, what's up here? Oh, but I want to go up there. No, we can't go downstairs. It doesn't let us. Uh, it's like blocked off. We have to go to our room, but I was wanting to see if we could do anything else before that. Yeah, it won't let us go down. A few leaves out of an old encyclopedia. Oh. That's interesting. 
sur Jacques Perru. Monsieur Napoléon Bonaparte. We've gone around, so I am finding some different stuff, though. We still can't go down. Duchess Emily Hillsborough. All right, well, we've gone around totally. Where the fuck is our room? Duke Manuel Godoy. Yeah, we already went this way. It's at the end of the hall. Huh, that's me. Oh, I passed it. Okay, we're at our room. Yeah, it's like a big, giant right. circle or so square area. This letter? It might be about my mother's disappearance. But if I open it, I'll be betraying Piaggi's trust. What should I do? Oh, yeah. Oh, it takes all of our points. All right, we're doing so, it. Fuck it, we're doing it. Really it is a list of French countrymen. Piaggi wasn't lying. Wow. Nice room. Mortimer <laughs> sure doesn't do things halfway. We're out of our opportunity points now. So, we hopefully can get more. Saint Jerome and the Angel. Yet again, art with political undertones with an image of a saint hearing voices. Saturn devouring his son. Again? I saw the same theme in the hall. Dude, that is gross. The Conversion of St. Paul by Caravaggio. St. Francis of Assisi in ecstasy before superior voices. Judith beheading Holofernes. Ironic in a way, when you know that the artist represented himself as Judith beheading her mentor, who had raped her. Well, that's fucked up. Just a lot. Oh, I can't open that. I don't have any points left. Inferno by Dante. Abandon hope, Damn. all ye who enter here. Lovely lectures Mortimer's giving to his guests. Very jolly. All right, can we go outside? All right, what do we have out here? Somebody else's room that we can't go in. I hope that we get them back after a, a bit of a rest. I don't know though. Light water gives you the focus state. You can use the next skill cost. All right. So we get items to be able to do it. I mean, that's cool. What is over here? Food. Collector's coins. That one's locked. A Chinese oh. Chinese coin. Recognizable by the hole in the middle. If I remember rightly, that's called a cash. No, I don't want to go to bed. No, I don't want to go to bed. There was stuff to touch. I wanted to touch more stuff. I'm not ready for bed. Was there a box in the balcony? I saw a book. I didn't see a box, though. That's a big bed. All right. Oh, we got more points. Conviction. I mean, we can make our current stuff cheaper. We're a master manipulator. I want to finish off the stuff we have first. 
And I'm gonna grab some uh, linguistics. Or should we go vigilance? You know what? We failed a lot of vigilance stuff. I'm gonna grab vigilance. All right. Okay, that's good. Could be manuscripts here. You can choose what you want to read during the adventure. Each manuscript you read gives good points at the end. Okay. Gives conviction. Well, um, you have to have three pages of it. Okay, but I already have one of those. All right, science. I mean, you already have, I'm gonna grab this, the conviction one. We don't have any points. Yeah, we don't have any points in the conviction, so I'm gonna grab one in there just to have it. <laughs> Tell it unlocked sober. Uh, is this supposed to be realistic, it's just, or is it just the characters they use? Um, it's all fictional. Um, it's not- I don't think it's done with, like, uh, mocap or anything like that, because, uh, the lips are funky. Your turn? The servants are not very efficient. Durache can't be far away. They'll find her soon. Their search time is restricted, given that they must keep an eye on Adams. I can take care of her, you know. Yes. Well, in any case, I do thank you Who's for bringing her to the island. From what I've understood, the search of de Richet's room hasn't turned up any results. Not yet, no. But we've put her son in there. Perhaps he'll find something. Hmm. Oh. That might come in handy. Louis grows impatient at not yet having met the famous Lord Mortimer. He will meet him tomorrow. Oh, what a pity to lose a night at the start of the game. Huh. Are you waiting for someone? A young French soldier. During our game of chess? Don't worry, Gregory. The game will <laughs> Gary. <disappear. laughs> I'll have one of my men escort you back. Don't trouble yourself. Who I know is my this way guy? Out. Ah, good evening, gentlemen. Please forgive me for this late hour. I it comb is never over. too late. And we have much to discuss. I comb over so One bad. Last move. Wow. So Don't loser worry. much. Our games always seem to end like this. Or always start like this. Come, come. Take a seat, my friend. It could have been Napoleon, I don't know. He he did have a sign for his room. A little nighttime stroll, Mr. President? There's nothing like it for a good night's sleep. Do not hesitate to ask a servant to show you back. <laughs> the corridors seem quite safe. Peppermint, lime flower, and valerian. My what? miracle remedy when one can't get to sleep. A very good night to you, Mr. President. Thank you. And to you too, sir. servant and that's how we saw that stuff yeah he's um I'm got coming. some psychic abilities it seems for sure Holmes looks like a fucking idiot is what he looks like dear monsieur de Richet please excuse me but I am unable to join you at present however rest assured that we are doing all we can to resolve the case that concerns us by the way Enclosed, you will find a key that will enable you to retrieve the personal effects your mother left behind. Yours faithfully, Lord William Mortimer. Dear Monsieur de Richet, 
All right, that's probably the key for the uh, inspiration of Saint Matthew or box Matthew writing his in the other room, dictated to him by voices. Inventory is full of roll jelly. Oh, okay. Where's the royal jelly at? Five? How do I use it? I don't know how to use it, though. How do I use it? No, I want to use the jelly. I have no idea how to use this jelly stuff. I have no idea how to use the jelly, guys. Oh, number one. Okay, that's how we get our stuff back. Okay, we have uh, points. I don't want to go into the door yet. Devil's Thorn. Devil's Thorn grants you the exalted state. You temporarily see the immunities and vulnerabilities affecting a dialogue choice in a conversation. Can I carry more than five? The torture of Ixion. Condemned by the gods to lose his mind because of his arrogance. I wonder if the person at the door will leave. This is probably our mother's belongings. Oh, it had an elixir. Golden elixir. Inferno by Dante. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. Okay. Lovely lectures Mortimer is giving to his oh. guests. Very jolly. I don't want to answer the door. Go away. Oh, Excuse it's the president. Me. Am I bothering you? Hurry to answer the door. No. No, not in the least. Is something wrong? I'm going to need your help. Do you remember the young lady we spoke of in the hall? I, I bumped into her in the small salon before. Well, she is the daughter of my friend, the vice president, John Adams. But she is supposed to be dead. Yeah, oh? that's bizarre. Fair enough. Good heavens. <laughs> I was present at her funeral. It is disturbing indeed. Yes. I need to make sure it's her. That's where you come in. I want you to distract Elizabeth while I search her room. And perhaps get my hands on some important information. At least, I hope so. Elizabeth is in the small salon. If you hurry, you can still catch her. All right. I just need ten minutes. But if my vision is true, there are two men nearby discussing very important issues, and one of them looks much like Mortimer. Washington is very kind, but I came to this island for my mother, not for his ghost stories. I mean... He might help us, though. I mean, we've already put him off once. I don't think we should again. Uh Hmm. We already put him off once. I'm afraid if we put him off too much, we might not get him to help us. Yeah, I, I feel like we should help Count him. On me, sir. Thank you, my friend. Keep Elizabeth downstairs as long as possible. She must not return to her room. Trust me. Trust me. According to Washington, Lady Adams is in the small salon. I better hurry. I don't know where that is, though. I don't know where it is. My son. Oh, you are a godsend. What's the matter, your eminence? I believe that Miss Adams may be in danger. What do you mean? 
Do you hear that? She is being manhandled in this small salon. By whom? I don't know exactly. Uh, a thug, a Frenchman, it seems. By the cut of his cloth, I'd say he's a member of the French revolutionary government. You should do something, my son. All right. Shit. I was supposed to make sure Adams wouldn't go back to her room. Don't worry, Your Eminence. I'll take care of it. Probably nothing to worry about. Do you want me to call for help? Please don't do anything. I'm sure with a little goodwill, everything will work out fine. Don't go and wake up the whole manor, please. Oh, thank you, my son. May God watch over you. <sighs> Who do you think you are? Forget multiple paths. There are multiple paths to reach your objective. It may be a good idea to think twice before embarking on the first path you come to. Oh, Please, shit. If we were in France, I'd have sent you to the guillotine for what you just said. Please, just let me go back to my room. Hey, you. Stay out of it. This is none of your business. I'm gonna teach this little slut how to behave. What the hell is going on? Huh? I don't think you know who I am. No. I beg you. I, I didn't mean to. Don't hit me. Please, sir. Shit. <laughs> if I step in, Adams might just run back uh -uh. to her room. And if I do nothing, yes, Washington will have enough time to search, but this girl's gonna huh? suffer. Damn it, what should I do? <gasps> Let her go, huh? Stay out of it, boy. Shit. <laughs> what are you playing at? I told you to mind your own business, boy. Ah, fuck. If you think you can side with this whore and then just walk away, you're out of your mind. Shit. Give me one good reason not to knock you down. You're not back in your slum now. You're in Lord Mortimer's home. I suggest you think carefully about what you're Washington's going to do. Washington's going to be pissed, Don't guys. Think you're getting away with it that easily. I'm sick of all these toffs. If we were in Paris, I'd send you all to the guillotine. Oh my God! Fuck your guillotine. And on top of it all, a woman telling me how I ought to behave? I won't stand for it. Oh, okay, okay. Wait a minute. What? Don't tell me you're going to defend these harlots. I believe in man. From speech comes dialogue. From dialogue, peace is born. And from peace, great destinies flourish. <laughs> Sir! <laughs> Does he buy in that? I don't even know what, what I just... What are you talking about? <laughs> I get confused the feeling him. you're trying to put one over on me. If that's the case, you're making a big mistake. <laughs> Sorry about that. Look, there's no point in us aggravating each other. Let's both just go our separate ways. Don't move. We're not done yet. You wanted to be the knight in shining armor and save the damsel in distress. Let's see how brave you are. Oh shit. Someone threw off balance. This costs effort points. Oh no. It's a golden elixir to cure yourself. Think about it. You know your head will roll tomorrow if you shoot. Wanna bet? Sure do. I'm not in the habit of feeding Lord Mortimer's guest in his own salon. <laughs> hey, we got a psychology time, skill up. Don't try it again. That's cool. That actually gave us a skill up. I didn't know you could do that. Hey, Infinite Best, hello. Oh man, Washington's gonna be pissed. The brooch Elizabeth was wearing. Pick it up. Huh. She was so frightened, she was unaware that she'd lost it. Yeah, well, it didn't seem to do her much good. All right, what do we have in here? I guess we should have went the other way. Hey, these look like pages taken from an ancient encyclopedia. There's a pattern with five circles on this chest. Five circles? find it totally looks like there's more than one bottle did it actually give us three all right we have a lot of real jelly so 
Oh, it's out this way. Let's go look. Lady Adams must have locked it behind her when she fled. I mean, don't we have a key? Or a lock picking? Yeah, the dude pulled the gun. Yeah, we were like, yeah, fucking shoot us, man. Just well, bring it, bitch. Did you get time to search the room? Louis, I only needed ten minutes. Imagine the scandal if she had found me. What would you have done in my shoes? She was in the middle of an argument with some angry guy. Ten minutes? I didn't ask for the moon. Nonetheless, you found what you were looking for, didn't you? Not everything, but yes. Elizabeth is definitely the daughter of John Adams. We need more information. You can always hey, go Kareem, back. hello. It's too it's late It's a new now. stream. Man. We let him down. I kind of feel bad, but... A pound. That thing is fucking huge. Look at that. Is this supposed to be Poseidon? I'm not sure. I'm guessing it's Poseidon. The, with the trident. Or was it a trident? I don't even know. I guess it's a spear. Why did I think it was a trident at first? Alright, we probably shouldn't... Uh, Stay here. Lord Mortimer certainly has a taste for staging rooms. Well. Can't go that way. I guess we have to go back upstairs. I mean, I'm glad she didn't get her ass beat because maybe she'll help us. I mean, I, I don't know. We might need her for something later on. I shouldn't have put him on about. Jacques Peru. Where's her room? The quorum guy. I want to see if she's okay. Can we go check on her? Okay, the golden elixir is full. That's not the right way. That's not the right way. But it loops around in a big circle. Why can't I go that way? I mean, the whole thing's connected. It's Neptune, you think? I don't know. I'm not familiar with my mythology. Duchess Emily Hillsborough. Duke Manuel Godoy. Your Eminence, what are you doing here? That's a good question. I was worried about you, my son. Uh, how did it go with Miss Adams? Don't worry about that anymore, Your Eminence. I had to step in, but everything's under control. <laughs> what an adventure, my son. <laughs> I am relieved to hear it. You acted as a good Christian. In these troubled times, <laughs> we need more men of your kind. Meanwhile, I'm like sacrifuge and manipulation. Did what I had to do. Well, you did the opposite. Good. Well, thanks for the news. My son, I have another problem. I wanted to speak to you about something important. Do you still have my letter on you? The one I gave you in the hall? Why do you ask? I have a name to add to it. Here it is. Thank you, my son. Ah, I see that it's still sealed. <laughs> I, was I right read it, though. <laughs> you, Louise. Mm. Give me one second. <laughs> I'm a good Christian. I like. I can't imagine what would have happened it. <laughs> if I hadn't added this name to the list. Please be sure to give this letter to Sarah the moment you see her. You can count on it. Have a good night. Should we look at it again? What, what name did he add to it? 
I want to know what he added to it. <laughs> this is our room. Definitely sealed. Yeah. Wink. I'm exhausted. I better go to bed. Well, I'll search my room tomorrow. If Mother stayed here right before me, you never know. And Mortimer had better show up. That's a lot of bodies. And naked people. Yeah. That's a lot of alternate paths. Ooh, we gave our points. Um... I want to get more stuff. So we have... It says skill not acquired. I'm trying to get some new stuff so I have uh, more options. Even if I have to pay more for it, it would be nice to have more options. What is erudition? Arts, geography, history. All right. I feel like psychology might be nice. It says we have this at level one, but this one has a lot of points. Questioning, linguistics, diversion. Mm, I'm not sure what we should take. It says skill not acquired. Oh, you have to spend two points to unlock it. So this one is rank one already. I'm just trying to like... So once it becomes uh, this like solid color, we have it. So we do have psychology rank one. And... One more point in each of these will have etiquette and conviction. Two more points in vigilance. All right, we have vigilance now. Um, wow, it costs a lot though. Yeah, I'm just trying to get so that we have stuff unlocked. If we put a point in here, it'll give us rank level one of etiquette and level one of conviction. Uh, I don't know if uh, that's going to be enough or if we should just max stuff out. Uh, we've missed a lot of checks with this one. I'm th thinking we should probably get this. But we have missed stuff with this too, so... Hmm... Well, vigilance is already rank one, so we are, we'll have we have vigilance already. We'll take that etiquette just to get it to rank one. I will get. I've got psychology one, questioning, logic. Ooh, it's it's so hard to decide because it's like all of the stuff is usable. And yes, I do stream every day. Hey, simple solutions. Hello. I'm gonna go vigilance. Yeah, let's do that. vision yesterday I saw that mother had this room before me I better search the room who knows maybe she left me something behind maybe manuscripts to equip oh we need to find another encyclopedia Etiquette. 
science. Alright. Alright, so, there we go. How would we have here? Writing material. That's probably from the letter. We should probably use that to write the letter. Hey, Willy! Ah, uh, yes, this is a different game. See, vigilance. From what I see, no ink's ever been used on this quill. The smell reminds me of something. It smells like lemon. Invisible ink. That's odd. Invisible ink under a black light. That's what it is. I know what it is. Incredulity of St. Thomas. Why is Caravaggio representing St. Thomas putting his finger in the wound? Thomas looks on but doesn't touch. The torture of Ixion. Condemned by the gods to lose his mind because of his arrogance. Nothing. Yeah, Monsieur de Richet. I haven't even had time to unpack my cases. Somebody's written with invisible ink somewhere. Saint Matthew, or Matthew writing his gospel, dictated to him by voices. Can you save or reload to do different areas? Uh, there is the three save slots. Um, so I believe you'd have to make a new one. I don't think you can redo choice single choices. I, I think it's similar to Inferno Telltale, where you have to replay the whole thing. Abandon hope, all ye who enter. Oh. Here. Lovely lectures, Look, Mortimer's giving Mark to his guests. On the floor. Very jolly. Uh, just a bit worn out. I was hoping to find something leading to a secret passage. Oh, this bookcase is well stocked. Oh, this book has been put back the wrong way round. A Voyage Around the World, the travel log of the explorer, Louis-Antoine de Bougainville. One of Mother's favorite books. What a coincidence. And I don't believe in coincidences. It's just too much. I don't know what's going on here, but if you felt threatened, I'll bet you'd leave a clue, wouldn't you, Mother? The lemon pen! She wrote in it with the Felt. lemon pen! A faint sign of the order, barely visible. Mother, you undoubtedly must have hidden a clue in this book. Let's see if I can find anything else in this room. Paper's rougher around the writing. The paper's moist here. A very light stain, barely visible. And the smell. The lemon! <laughs> Come on, Louis, think. Think. Let's recap. My mother was oh in my God. Room. I don't need to recap. I found a rare edition of her favorite book. She must have left something behind. She applied a liquid to the book. She must have used the writing materials. The quill has been used, but not with regular ink. A message using invisible ink. I bet she used a liquid oh to leave a message. <laughs> now, how do I reveal the message? I know, right? I'm like, I figured this out a long time ago. <gasps> it's not that difficult. Damn, we're making a serious mess here. It's no good. It might have worked if the writing had left marks in the paper, but no, there's only traces of lemon. Luckily, I've only put ash on part of the message. I guess the ashes was no good. Shit. Saint Jerome and the Angel. What is this? There's a circle around the lock here. Must be the trunk Mortimer was talking about. 
The key should open it. It costs zero? We have a key though. There's a note. Effects of Sœur de Richer to be given to her son, Louis. I should probably take it. All right. Inferno by Dante. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. All right, we gotta go find something else. Maybe there's something on the balcony. I don't think there is any heat to use. Priest robe, crosses, must be Piaggi's room. Dirt? We have a lemon now. But I want the dirt too. Why can't I do both? Ah. I wanted to do both. It's not letting me. This room looks unoccupied. Well, open it then. This room looks unoccupied. Ah, I wanted to grab the dirt too. That that kind of annoys me. I wanted the dirt too. Well, so it wasn't that, and I've just stained half the page. Ink is always used to write a message, never to reveal one. <laughs> Let's find something else. <laughs> Fuck it! Fuck it, just pour everything on it! That wasn't it. Not to mention I covered half the page with lemon <laughs> juice. Great! Uh, nope, infinite best not happening Holy. tonight. Lemon's used to write secret messages, not to reveal them. <laughs> I'm just like, fuck it. i to try something else. There's nothing to use. I've walked around the whole room. See, there's no nothing else I can grab. If a message is written in lemon juice, the flame will reveal it. Oh, here we go. I can't examine the ashes. It doesn't let me undo it. No, we just like everywhere. destroyed the whole thing. Try it out on the book. And we're not even gonna be able to read it. It's gonna be like illegible because we've like dosed it with ink and lemon and ash everywhere. <laughs> oh look, a candle. Aha. Let's just light it on fire. Fuck it. Reveals the message. Let's see what my mother wrote. Where all eyes size you up, you must pass by the Gorgon. Gorgon was the name of Medusa in Greek mythology. On the other hand, where all eyes size you up, I don't get it. And judging by the number of paintings in the manor, could be anywhere. Damn! The message continues, but thanks to me, the rest of the text is unreadable. Great. I hope it wasn't a unique edition or mother's gonna kill me. Now I better hurry and find that damn Medusa. <laughs> we fucked it over. Sir, dinner is served in the Red South. <laughs> Typical. I'm not hungry. We Please give my guys. apologies to all the guests. 
Sir Hall requests your presence, <laughs> sir. Well, I guess I'm just gonna have to wait before going and looking <laughs> for the Medusa. Us. Tell him I'll be there in a minute. It's fucked. It's fucked because we're dumb. Because I'm dumb. If I get a chance, I may have to take a little tour through the rooms of the other guests. Sounds good. Let's do that. Oh, it's locked. Oh, that's not a door. Honey. The remedy of the gods. Is it now? Let no one disturb me. I'm busy. Too bad. I'll see him later. But I want to go in now. All right, let's go see if anybody else we can go intrude. That's the door to Elizabeth's room. We're just For going God's in. Sakes, what happened in here? Uh, I don't know. She's a Satanist. The fuck? I don't know. What the fuck? All right, let's hurry. A chest with a half circle pattern. Let's open this shit. I got lock picking for a fucking reason. Yes. Hey, Elizabeth. An untutored hand copied these notes. Looks like a healing method. Well, that's a pity. The writing is barely legible. The note suggests binding the feet and hands, then blocking the jaws using a piece of cloth to prevent the tongue from being sectioned. <laughs> That what? looks like a method to control an epileptic fit. Oh, is that why she's got the loud the one being treated for that illness. Feet and hands are bound. A piece of cloth in the mouth prevents the tongue from being sexual. Is it going to be the same thing? It looks like preparation for an exorcism. Is Elizabeth really possessed? I mean, we're just stealing shit now. Looks like I found a box containing some kind of white crystals. Let's eat the crystals. That sounds like a good idea. These are magnesium crystals. A fairly effective remedy for easing anxiety. I don't have anxiety. We don't need to eat them. Why is this room such a shithole? Third of November, 1791. My dear sister, the cancellation of our reunion hit me like a stab to the heart. Father told me it was for your well-being, but I can't help but blame him. He claims that your condition has worsened and that it could be dangerous for both of us if we met. If only I knew where you were, believe me, I'd be at your side. I haven't received any news from you in a long time. Please write. Your loving sister, Abigail. P.S. I hope you like the enclosed talisman. All right. August 24th, 1792. Got another Elizabeth. note here. I'm driven to despair and doubt there is any point in writing to you. I'm not even sure you'll receive my letters. Father controls my correspondence more and more. I am certain he filters our exchanges. Thankfully, one of the chambermaids is able to help me get my letters to you. But they still remain unanswered. I often think about you and pray every day to be able to hold you tight. We have so much time to make up. I beg you, answer me, please. Your loving sister, Abigail. P. 
P.S. That horrible woman came again yesterday. She spent a long time speaking with father. I didn't understand everything because they spoke in French, but I'm sure they were talking about you. Alright. Got another letter here. June 11th, 1791. My dear Elizabeth, your last letter gave me much cause for concern. Your words were so cold, as if emotions no longer matter to you. Father maintains that the secondary effects of your treatment still trouble you, but that they will soon subside. Should I believe him? I cling to the belief that we shall soon see each other again, at long last. Right soon. Your loving sister, Abigail. P.S. Hmm. Don't forget to tell me what present you want. All right. Carmelite water. Did I find everything that's in this room? I probably shouldn't investigate this uh, giant pentagram on the floor. On the floor here. Nothing on it though. Okay. My dear Elizabeth, I'm writing to inform you of some unfortunate news. We won't be able to meet as planned on the first Sunday of May. I've been told that you're no better, and, unfortunately, your brothers and I are absolutely snowed under by the work required to govern this new country. Please, excuse us. As soon as we can get free, even if it's just for a day, I promise we shall come and see you. Your loving father, John Adams. P.S. Don't hold it against your mother if she still isn't ready. Hmm. Please don't judge her. I'm sure you'll be able to put all of this behind you one day. Well. Hopefully no, nobody saw us go in there. Some weird satanic shit happening in her room. Let's see if we can break into anybody else's room before we go down. Nope. Nope. Devil's Thorn. I just want to see if there's any more rooms we can break in. No. That must be the door to the room of the soldier I saw in my vision. Let's do this. The Prince by Machiavelli. A perfect read for anyone with a surfeit of ambition. Hmm. That might come in handy. We're just like stealing books. <laughs> Can't go outside. Carmelite water. They say that if you drink this, it gives you a real boost. It's a beautiful weapon. A Levy Damask Blade. It's marked with the initials of the manufacturer in Versailles. Discovered his immunity? It's a beautiful weapon. My dearest son, I'm writing to implore you to act quickly. The situation is rapidly worsening here. Powerly continues to steer our motherland, Corsica, toward open warfare between France and England. Yes, his it's men new. are everywhere. We are obliged okay. to go into hiding and are unable to remain in the same place for more than two days. I wouldn't be surprised if they targeted us soon. Make haste, my son. You hold our destiny in your hands. Your loving mother, Maria Letizia Bonaparte. Ah, uh, yeah, this game just came out today. This is the first episode of it. The bicorn decorated with a cockade. It must belong to a French soldier. That dude. That dude that we saw. The Battle of Alexander at Isis, or how Alexander the Great triumphed over King Darius. Yet another one with delusions of grandeur. Oh, I can't reach it. There's something else up there and I can't reach. I collected four. I get to make my up for points more. Fragment of amber. Sweet. French actor Talma is Nero and Britannicus. 
the last emperor of the Caesar dynasty. All right, what do we have over here? My dear Napoleon, as previously agreed, I would like to ask you to join us in January on my island to participate in the high society meeting organized for the occasion. We shall be able to continue our discussion about our project for a new order for France. I have a proposition to make to you concerning your wish to put a strong leader at the head of France. I trust you to be discreet as to your coming. See you soon. Lord William Mortimer. I do like that it's uh, all the texts are narrated. Person Gedrix throws down his arms at the feet of Julius Caesar by Royer. Two great army chiefs. What is full? My golden elixir. I don't know which one is which. Let's see. Okay, it's the fourth one. Can I reach that now? Oh, I can't. I need to go do another skill check soon. Might be better to take a different stairway. A different stairway? Well. We're gonna run over there. I don't have, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do a skill huh. check. That's me. Hmm. Let's find the stairs. We've already gone around full circle. Stairs. Let me out. I didn't mean to come back in here. It was an accident. An accident, I say. Why can I not go down the stairs? I'm trying to go down the stairs. There's like three stairwells and I can only take one. We are trying to find our mother. I really need to She's talk missing. To you. Is this about last night? No, that was just a misunderstanding. I'm sure it was a little bit my fault too. There's no excuse for that man's horrible behavior. You ought to tell Sir Holm. Look, the only thing that I care about is that I've lost something precious. I'm not worried about Jack Peru. You didn't happen to lose this, did you? Where did you find it? In this yeah, ball left salon. it on the floor. It's the only reminder I have of my beloved sister. I thought that swine stole it from me. You're her son, Sarah de Richet's son. Yes, why? She has no shoes Last on. Last night, I found out that your mother was on the island. What are you doing here? Excuse me, but speaking frankly, why would you care? I know your mother very well. Really? Yes, I have been in your mother's care ever since I was born. She nursed you? Oh, I wouldn't say nursed, <laughs> no. I remember her stare, cold as ice. Her sadistic hands pressing over my mouth to silence me while I screamed in pain. Oh. I remember her knees, too. She held me down with them while she cut and burned scars into me. 
Damn. Hold on a minute. What do you mean? You can ask her when you see her. Huh. She's getting more and more agitated. Look, fuck. I, I've got to go. Wait. I need to know more about I need questioning. Why did she put you through all of that? There must be some reason for what she did. What's the point of rubbing salt in the wounds? Elizabeth, confide. Oh, shit. Hiding in me might ease your burden. Let me relieve you of some of your suffering. Relieve me? Do you even hear yourself? Do you really think that by confiding in my torturer's son, I will be healed as if by magic? I'm sorry! Will bring my smile back or let me sleep at night? Look, you don't seem like a bad person. And I'm sorry you have to find out your mother's true colors like this. But I'm not going to pity you. Everybody Damn. has their cross to bear. I know your little game. You're no different from the rest Whoa. of them. You couldn't give a damn about me. The only thing you're interested in is finding out about your mother. Yes. Don't say that. Not, not everyone wants to use you. Some people care about you, don't they? Haven't you got a sister? Yes. I'm sure Swift. she loves you with all her heart. She's the only one who cares about me. I would have put an end to it all by now if it weren't for her. Hey, we succeeded Since still. Since you insist, I'll tell you how I met your mother. Thanks for trusting me. You see, before I was born, my mother often suffered from hallucinations and fits of anger. Soon people could barely recognize her. She became a completely different person. So my father spent an enormous amount of money paying for the best doctors, but none of them were able to cure her. Hmm. The last resort was to call a priest. See you later, Fentel. So, is that what your father did? No. He went to an expert in the occult. Ah, my mother. Her reputation already extended beyond our borders. My mother's fit stopped at my birth, and Sarah de Richet concluded that the evil had passed into me. Not only did it encourage her to stay, but she took the opportunity to advise my father to separate me from the rest of my family. That's how I was declared stillborn. My fate was decided that very day. It would coincide with my mother's frequent trips to America. I had my first fit when I was three. That's when your mother began her experiments <sighs> to rid me of the evil inside. Yeah. I understand how you feel, but I know my mother. I'm sure she had her reasons, even if it seems difficult to believe. Everything she put me through was all for nothing. My whole life was ruined for nothing. So what brings you here then? My father used to know Sir Holm. He offered to introduce me to the world's leading authority in the occult. Lord Mortimer. He was my last hope. Until I found out he had also invited your mother. It's got to be a coincidence. I don't believe for a second she's coming for you. You can't change my mind about this, Louis. My days are numbered, and I know it. I still don't know why his mother came here. She thinks it was for her, but I don't think it was. What can I do for you, sir? Tell me everything. I am at your service, day and night, sir. I would like to speak about your master, Lord Mortimer. Do please excuse me, sir, but I shall make no comment about <laughs> my master. Smart servant. Is there anything else that sir would like to know? Yes. What can I find on the second floor? That floor is strictly reserved for Lord Mortimer, sir. In the west wing on the second floor are his private chambers. In the east wing are the rooms reserved for Lord Mortimer's personal guests. Hmm. At the moment, 
These rooms are reserved for Sir Holm, sir. But only authorized guests may access that area. Does sir have any more questions? What's on the first floor? The first floor They're is reserved out of order. for guests, sir. That is where sir will find his private rooms. The main corridor leads around the building. Three stairways will enable sir to return to the ground floor. It is also from there that sir will be able to reach the second floor. Thank you very much. Anything else, sir? Yeah, that the the other person, um, the Duchess or whatever. Yeah, she's investigating what something else that we don't know yet. Because she wouldn't tell us. Lord Mortimer has made a point of keeping the main part of the island in its natural state, sir. For security reasons, only the wharves and the gardens are accessible to guests. If sir would like to walk along the wharves, he has only to follow the pathway used upon his arrival. If he would like to walk in the interior gardens of the manor, I would advise sir to pass through the portrait gallery. All right. May I help sir in any other way? What can you tell me about the guests? What do you know? Do excuse me, sir, but I am bound by discretion <laughs> to say nothing about Lord Mortimer's guests, sir. Perhaps, sir, uh, would like to know something else? As I was unable to bring my personal effects with me, I was wondering if you could find me a few items. Manipulate of this bitch. Of course, sir. What would you require? Everything. My good fellow, would you have any amber? available I would but unfortunately I don't think I am authorized <laughs> to give it out sir I believe hey, it is a precious stone Look you aren't going to kick up a fuss about a vulgar piece of resin are you Poor guy. Don't believe what they say about Amber. We treat him like a fucking idiot to warm again. Up infants' bodies, let alone prevent toothache. And neither does this fossil oleo resin stimulate fertility. You can believe me. Thank you for educating me. I didn't know. Here you are, sir. Does sir desire anything else? Oh wow. You wouldn't have a little golden elixir I could use, would you? Oh, unfortunately, sir, I have orders not to give any of that medicine to any of Lord Mortimer's so we're guests. we're just gonna, like, steal Some it from him again? Some are here to follow a very strict treatment. Mixing or combining certain substances would be dangerous for sir. Hmm. I mean, we could spend three, but it only gives us two back, so it's not really worth it. I still haven't quite recovered after the boat crossing. Would you have any Maltese cross? I just want to see if I, how much everything chance, costs. I, I am sorry, sir, but the Maltese cross may be just a plant, but it is also a powerful psychotropic drug that causes undesirable diuretic effects. I would advise against, sir, taking any. Well. All right, so we'll be able to get that stuff. Oh, wait. As I was unable to bring my personal effects with me, Skip. I was wondering if you could find me a few items. He says manuscripts. Of Maybe we can talk him into giving us what one of those. What would you require? Manuscript. What's that book you're hiding in your jacket? That book. The Giant Souls book. of Young Werther by Goethe, sir. And I am not hiding it. Hand it to me, please. It is damaged, sir. I would never dare lend Sir a book in such a pitiful state, sir. Bitch, give me the book. I took it to restore. Hang on, but it's mine. Beg pardon, sir? It's my book. I'm telling you, it's my book. With all due respect, <laughs> sir, I hope Sir will understand that I have doubts. You see, I found it in Lord Mortimer's library. Huh. There you are, then. That's exactly where I left it. Oh, my I God, these poor servants. out, sir. I... I don't know what to say. In that case, I suggest you say nothing and hand it over. But I... Now. But, sir, I... Very well, sir. Here you are. May, sir, take good care of it. It is damaged. And you've damaged it as well? Well, bravo. <laughs> bravo. No, no, I didn't do anything. It wasn't me, sir. Oh, my God. Say pardon. Pardon me, sir. 
Very good. There were some other things I wanted to go over with you. All right. We, uh, we, this poor servant guy, we're just like, yeah, give us all of our shit. <laughs> so we got, wound up getting Amber and a manuscript. I could have got some more stuff, but it was going to cost a lot, so. We have to go to the small red room, did he say? I'm assuming that it's this one. There's that chick, the Duchess. All right. Dear friends, I bid you welcome. I hope the night was not too short. Your Eminence, Duchess, Monsieur de Richet, allow me to introduce our new guests. They arrived during the night. Johann Christoph von Wollner, Minister of Religious Affairs and close aide of Frederick William II, Back home King over. of Prussia. Napoleon Bonaparte, Lieutenant of the French Revolutionary Army. And Jacques Peru, French Revolutionary Tribunal Judge. Unfortunately, my friends, Lord Mortimer will not be joining us this morning, but he should be with us later. <laughs> so, let us begin. What is Mortimer playing at? He tells me to come urgently and he sends no one to meet me? That's right. See I bet you something's happened to him, too. Damn it. I don't have etiquette skill. Oh, fuck. I did. I just Thank couldn't click it. God damn it. I didn't see where to click. Every day at the king's table. Undo, undo. Volner and Piaggi seem to be getting along well. Yes, I heard the What a story. Surprising when you know Volner prohibited religious practices in Prussia. Renowned member of the Rose Croix Order, former Freemason, and great lover of alchemy. And look at Piaggi fawning over him. I really do have a problem digesting political protocol. My dear Johan, how are you? Glad to make landfall at last. And yourself? Very well. And hmm. your husband? He's poorly. The French Revolution gives him terrible headaches. Oh, I understand. I shall feel better too, as soon as the situation is settled. If by chance the French crisis is emulated in Berlin, there will always be a refuge for you in London, my dear. Your offer does you honor, Emily. But London is much closer to Paris than Berlin. Beware. The French are capable of sailing up the Thames straight to the Houses of Parliament. Oh, Boobs. my friend, I am shaking in my clogs. <laughs> is the wine to your liking? Very much so, Sir Gregory. Such complexity. Typically French. A Sauterne, isn't it? Absolutely. If I'm not mistaken, <laughs> she has a nice pair. this is not Lord Mortimer's favorite wine. I mean, how can you not look at them? They're just like... In his absence, I have taken the liberty of making a slight deviation from the room. But I count on your discretion. <laughs> Don't worry. It's like the I butterflies. the same great varieties as you. I remember the last time we tasted that nectar here at this table. The finest minds of the century were present. And the last time we drank it, the orphanage in Bloomsbury was still in ruins. Would... would you repeat that? Oh, well, I put some small effort into the works. The orphanage reopened just before Christmas. The bedrooms, washrooms, and the classrooms had all been refurbished. I, awesome. I don't know what to say. You have given the girls a wonderful Christmas gift. Thank you. I made a promise. Now it is done. It's the first time I've ever seen her so moved. She cared about this those girls. This orphanage broke right through Emily's hard shell. Maybe she was, uh, lived there. Is everything all right? Yes, thank you. I had a moment of absence, but here I am again. My lord, I only know the prestige of your name. All right. Might I have the honor of getting to know you a little better? You are Monsieur Louis Maurras de Richet. De Richet. De Richet. A name with a nobiliary title. Are you descended from a noble line? 
And you, sir. Show us a the presence of a particle does not necessarily mean a person belongs to the nobility, nor does it prevent the observance of the rules of That's etiquette. so smart. Monsieur Von Bonnet. Come over, dude. Damn it, stop. Have you any information on <laughs> this Napoleon? Uh, what do you want to know? <laughs> what do you think, madam? What is this Bonaparte doing here? The presence of a soldier is never a good sign. It can only mean there's going to be further war. To answer your question, I only know that his family were in favor of the revolution. And that it almost cost them their lives. Mm -hmm. Thank you. We That's did read the letters. But we didn't want to admit that we, we have broken the room. It would seem we have common interests. Could we speak in private, please? What a storm. Show us your Oh, that's a nice view. Lord Mortimer and the Golden Order, through your mother, have concluded a financial agreement. Stay composed, Louis. I'm listening. It is remarkable. An agreement for cannons. Lord Mortimer assured me that you are to take over the project so on push behalf me? of your mother. You must know that I am deeply sorry about our disappearance, but I must validate the deal urgently if I want to be able to organize things properly. I haven't seen Lord Mortimer yet. I'm afraid I'll be unable to answer your questions. He assured me that you could replace your mother during her absence. I appreciate his confidence, but still, this is a bit hasty. But please continue. Of course, but I need to know if I can count you among my allies. Well, we gotta do a well, blunder thing. And for that, I yeah, have I'm like worried he's gonna push me. For you. The agreement stipulates an aid of fifty thousand louis d'or for two hundred cannon. <laughs> I've only just taken over the affair. The agreement will be considered null and void until we've gone through it together. Is that clear? All right. You seem to know what you're doing. Hey! I have one last <laughs> I don't know I what I'm doing. To you. We don't know each other yet, you and I. And I need to make sure that we both share the same vision for the future of France. Given the hard times that have befallen our beautiful country, what do you think it would take to restore its uh, luster? I think what France is lacking today is a truly strong leader ready to govern her. Yep. Someone who will restore her luster, who will Success. propel her forward so once again she becomes a proud nation respected by all. A man capable of both rebuilding the country from the inside and at the same time developing exterior relations. Someone with a vision, I think. The right person still remains to be found. You're right, my friend. I hear your words. Yay, we I succeeded. Agree. Monsieur de Richer, I am reassured. I am very happy to have met you. Lord Mortimer was right to put his trust in you. I hope to work with you in the very near future. I would like to thank you for your support by offering you this humble little gift. Hmm. Reflections on the revolution in France. Is that a manifest? Monsieur Bonaparte, I thank you for this gesture, and please know that I, too, am delighted to have met you. Yay, we succeeded! I am still up. It, it's friends, almost one. I would like to say a few words, please. I would like to thank Lord Mortimer and you, Sir Holm, for bringing us all together here. Those of us for whom it is not the first time here, like me, are all trembling in sweet anticipation of the arrival of our host. For the rest, I would like to reassure you that Lord Mortimer always has a few surprising projects to propose. <laughs> but I can assure you that each and every one of us has always What is with the butterflies? <laughs> <laughs> the last time I came to this place, Lord Mortimer offered to help me in my electoral campaign for the presidency of the United States. And it is imminently clear that his support was an invaluable aid to us. We are here among like-minded people. So let us put aside the conflicts in which some of our nations find themselves at present. So I raise my glass 
in honor of you all, my new and old friends. My yeah, Washington is old, yeah. Disappointed, Mr. Washington. I clicked that. Right. We shall meet again. I fucking tomorrow. clicked it. All the guests will uh. be as well as Lord Mortimer, I hope. Until then, I trust you will find Maybe because my skills low on it. Used. Maybe that's why it failed. Butterflies are a sign of peace and harmony. I don't know, man. I don't know. Yeah, I dirtied one part of the book. Mistakes were made. Oh wow, that's a lot of XP. Alright. I need to unlock more stuff. My etiquette skill's not high enough. Hmm. I mean, if I get more points in this stuff, it just makes it cost less. Vigilance seems to be pretty common. Conviction could get me out of the sticky situations. Um, I kind of want to go with logic and start working on that. Or should we go with agility? I've got two points left. We still have an unlocked question. We have unlocked psychology, but... Alright, let's, uh, let's max out. Uh, we'll throw another one in psychology. Alright. Damn. It's Fireball Tuesday there, David. Enjoy, enjoy your, uh, fireballs. Alright, let's recap. Before dinner... I was going to investigate I did play my until dawn. message. I've got to so find good. the place where all so eyes good. size you up. Okay, we don't gotta win a couple manuscript. I don't have enough for that one yet. Cultism, manipulate. I'm already maxing manipulation. Uh, I could take the point in psychology. Okay, so that actually gives another point there in the psychology, so we just need two more. But yeah, there's no point in me taking any manipulation or uh, subterfuge because I'm already maxed on it. There's a lot of talents. Oh. Ah, so it unlocks a bunch of stuff. Oh, that's cool. So they have multiple immunities. I didn't realize they were uh, multiple immunities. Uh, what is that chick? Uh, Emily. So, psychology. So we do have points in psychology now. She's mutual logic. This is us. <laughs> the poor servants, man. We made them feel so dumb. So dumb. Alright, so there's a lot we still haven't discovered. Okay. Butterflies everywhere. Everybody's gone. Well, your eminence, do you still have any room left? Ah, my son, the sin of gluttony is the most difficult of all in my eyes. Nevertheless, what a charming moment we have had together. I'm delighted I was able to talk to Mr. Von Volner. We hadn't spoken to each other for an eternity. Yes, I noticed that your eminence knew a fair number of people at the table. The 
benefit of age, my son. <laughs> this isn't my first invitation to Lord Mortimer's. You will see, it's the perfect place to make new friends. Indeed, I noticed that you and Mr. Bonaparte had already begun. Ah, uh, I adapt quickly to local customs. It's what I was taught. <laughs> and you are right to do so, my son. But tell me, have you had any news of your mother since your arrival? <sighs> Alas, no? still nothing, your minutes. But I still haven't been able to meet Lord Mortimer. Do not worry. It is typical of him. What can I say? Lord Mortimer is a very so busy, busy man. Why do you have us I over then? You are beginning to worry. To tell you the truth, not really. You are right. Be positive. <laughs> Perhaps Sarah yep. is in the company of Lord Mortimer, and they will both turn up shortly. <laughs> but while I have you with me, I, I have a question for you. Go ahead, Louis. What can I do for you? If I said to you, where all eyes size you up, would it mean anything to you? I don't know if it's the place you're looking for, Louis. But it makes me think of the portrait gallery. There's a gallery here? Can Where's you that? tell me where to find it, please? Of course. Just go through the door at the end. It will lead into the library. Continue all the way through, and you'll end up in the gallery. You'll see it, Louis. When you get there, you'll know. Thank you very much, Your Eminence. On that last word, then I shall leave you to fight your demons. See you later, Your Eminence. See you later, my son. All right. Let's go see what's over here first. Make sure there's nothing we can, ah. A swine in a salon. That's an odd choice of decor. Yeah, just a bit. Look at all the freaking butterflies. The butterflies Seriously are everywhere. turning Ulysses' companions back into humans. That door is open. Discourse on the method by Decal. Carmelite like water will this give me a little change the way I look at the world. Well, the hallway we have to go through is that way. Or the door we have to go through. So let's go this way. I want to see what's out here. Oh, that's where we came in. Okay. Let's go back through then. All right. So we got to go through here, then through the library. And uh, that should bring us to the portrait gallery. The lock is surrounded by a triple circle. Let's pick it. Lock picking. Jackpot. Okay. Seriously. It's full. Amber crystals. Amber crystals? What did we just pick up? I don't know what we just picked up. Oh, dude, that's a cool fucking library. Look how big it is. Oh my god. Guys, how many of you guys wish you had a library like this? I don't read books, but that's that's still amazing. Holy shit. Oh my god. Mattress. The Miller Brothers. Mother expressly forbade me from reading it. I don't have room for all this stuff. A few pages out of an old encyclopedia. Oh, that'll give us a different manuscript. Cool. Once we uh, finish the chapter. Ah, there's a lot of eyes all over this gallery. Holy shit. Where all eyes size you up. Chances are. Ah, uh, hi, Louis. If that was your brother, you could have just deleted it before you pressed enter. She also spoke of a Medusa. Just saying. Should we go and try to find the creature now? Thanks, though. <laughs>
Liberty or Death by Regnaud. Well, I'll take Liberty, please. Ah, a painting by Engel. Molière, dining with Louis XIV. Well. The king's posture is surprising. It's almost as if he's addressing someone in the assembly. All these doors are locked. It's a place to sit. Let's take a look. Find the Medusa. Medusa. Hey, Vicky, I'm doing well today. How are you? Christ Crucified by Velasquez. The Song of Roland. Ah, Francois Premier. Amber. Receiving the Holy Family. A painting by Raphael. Where's Medusa? The Fall of Phaeton. Another painting by Rubens. Poor Phaeton, struck by lightning by his father Apollo for borrowing his chariot and losing a Amber. Moral, don't steal dad's chariot. The Company by Rembrandt. All right. A meeting between Louis XIV and Philippe V. I wonder why Mortimer's particularly fond of this painting. I don't know. That must be full. The Last Supper by Leonardo da Vinci. The last day before his crucifixion, Jesus announces that he will be betrayed by one of his disciples. All right. Where is Medusa? <gasps> there she is. All right, what's in the box? The Unlocked. Thorn. I'll keep it. It's a Medusa. We found her. We are looking for our mother. It's like um, a mis crime sort of mystery with uh, choices and stuff. I've got to find out what mother was trying to do with her. The Medusa. A hero armed with a sword. Hmm. A hero with a lantern. And the last one holding a shield. I'll stake my life on it. All the statues form a single scene together. The poor devils are about to face the beast. Let's give them a helping hand. A painting with no name. All right. All right, so the lantern, you would use the lantern to reflect the shield. Oh, what's, there's a book here. What did we just find? The origin of myths, a reinterpretation of legendary creatures. Just what I need. The text is in French on the left-hand page and in Latin. Oh no, right linguists, I don't Let's have linguists. chapter on the Medusa. Hang on. This version is significantly different from the regular one. It mm -mm. recounts how men have always belittled women in society. Harpies, mermaids, the chimera, the hydra, the gorgons. Ah, the section on the Medusa. While some of the heroes divert attention from the gorgon, the hero with the sword brandishes his weapon at the Medusa. All right. Well, I mean, I could use my points to do it. Rotate him toward the Medusa. I mean... is worn here. Whenever the shield is not turned toward the sword, the machinery freezes up. 
The statue must have been in this position most of the time, betrayed by the marks of time. So that makes it easy. The shield must face the sword. Okay. Turn it. And this one with the lantern. I don't know, but now, we'll, Louis, we'll use points. It's time to keep a logical mind, as every good scientist should. The aim is to defeat the Medusa. So what can the lantern be for? Reflect. To light up the Medusa? Hardly reflect likely. Reflect the shield. The hero holding the lantern will be easy prey, and the shield will be of no use. To light up the sword? No. That makes no sense. Use the shield. So that leaves the shield. Hmm. I wonder if the aim is to play with the light. If I turn the shield right, the light would be reflected. The ray of light will perturb the Medusa and focus her attention on the best protected hero. In Greek mythology, right. anyone who looked into the eyes of the Medusa turned to stone. So the monster's statue must be turned towards someone who can protect their eyes. The shield. Could only be the hero holding the shield. Yep. We just unlocked something. What did we just open? <laughs> the Illuminati. <laughs> Gotham guy, no. Cool. Rah! For Pete's <laughs> sake, Emily! You scared the pants off me. Don't ever do that again. Well, keep your nose out of my business, then. I don't know what you're talking about. Stop fooling around and tell me what you're doing here. I was feeling a bit peckish. I went in search of the kitchen and I ended up here. Your sense of direction is mind-boggling, <laughs> isn't is. it? It is. Well, no matter. I'll tolerate your presence this one time. Now, since you're here, make yourself useful. Look around on your side. I'll do the same on mine. And if you find anything of interest... She bought that? Know. No yeah, fucking way! In your dreams. At your service, madam. Open it. The heavenly symbols refer to Pandora's box. Emily, I'm pretty sure I've got Pandora's box. Of course you have. You see an earthen pot and you immediately assume it can only be Pandora's box. Logical. What I like about you, Louis, is that you never fail to surprise This is the music logic, I forgot. Emily. What if I open the jar? Would that then make man responsible for all the evils? Try. It'll make a change. <laughs> all right, can we move on now? <laughs> I do love your irony, but honestly, are you ever impressed by anything you see? By a chamber pot? No, you really do need to do better than that. A chamber pot? It doesn't look like a chamber pot. I, how would you even sit on that? What have we got here? A golden fleece. It's freezing. A waste Hurry of up. money. Cold? You want a rug? It'll warm you up. <laughs> I wouldn't be caught dead in that horrible thing. That's a pity. The gold color brings out your eyes. And your flattery brings out your boorishness. Oh my god. Hey, Mr. McMahoney. Oh, I totally said your name wrong. I'm sorry. An unofficial gospel? You'd be more likely to find this kind of book at the Vatican. Nothing special. The library at Buckingham has three. How did the English manage to get their hands on them? When someone wants to attract the attention of the world's leading power, somehow the gifts just pour in. 
You wouldn't have gone to the Vatican recently, would you? Are you calling me a thief? Certainly not. Never entered my mind. Ooh, collector's coins. Hey, something's missing off this one. Hey, Mortimer is the author of this work. He talks about his passion for art. What is I this? I found an amazing ring. And there's an inscription engraved on it. Emily, when I see that ring, <laughs> I can no longer hold back Let's my fuck feelings with her. for you. Oh, stop it. You're being ridiculous. What do you mean? I was just about to get down on one knee. <laughs> Alright, let's go around the room. Guess what I found? The Holy Grail. Older than that. A piece of Noah's Ark. Not that old. Cause thank, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Just family. Tell me. Caesar's laurel wreath. The workmanship on this crown is amazing. The finesse of the gold laurel leaves is beautiful. A crown worthy of an emperor. I'd stake my life that it's the genuine article. Do you know why laurel wreaths are used and nope. not, say, mistletoe or another plant? The laurel wreath symbolized glory in Roman times. In your opinion, what kind would suit me best? <laughs> A crown of nettles. Oh, man. A book. Oh. Looks like a oh, pamphlet pages. on different political regimes, written by Mortimer himself. Ooh, it's a sword. You should see this sword, Emily. It's magnificent. I'm busy. Describe it to me. The fuck sword is it? I don't know. It's not King Arthur. Doesn't look like I don't know. It really does look like Joan of Arc's sword. I don't fucking know. Famous maid of Orleans, one of your favorite historical heroines. You bet. Given the number of English butts she kicked. And we all know where that got her. <laughs> when you finished playing, maybe you can help me search the place. I am searching it. Man, she bossy. Amber. Amber. Boobs. Interesting. A manor in Maine. Hundreds of acres of land in Catalonia. How do they not see that when she leans over? It's incredible. Some of these deeds are over 600 years old. And all signed by the hand of Mortimer. I wonder if that's what inspired my mother's attention. How come all these documents have Mortimer's signature on them? Do you think all these properties really belong to him? See those fine scratches around the words? Yes, and? The ink barely spreads on the paper. It spreads exactly the same way on the signature. The deed was written using the same ink. If it is a fake, then it's a professional job. Yes! Subterfuge. These documents must be fakes. No man can own that many original works, no matter how rich he is. Be careful. The Order has tried many times to estimate his personal wealth without ever succeeding. And look here. Castles in Scotland, vineyards in Italy, districts in Venice. He's richer than some European countries. These documents are intriguing, but do you really think that's what attracted your mother's attention here? And how do you know my mother was interested in this room? I didn't know. I just supposed she was. And you just confirmed it. So? Do you think she found what she came for? I don't know. She was obsessed with Mortimer, and I must confess, these property deeds are troubling. If that's the case, why would she have left them? If Once again, years. I don't know. We'll have to ask her when we find her. And what's your take? She's not concealing those assets. They're just right there on her chest. How did Lord Mortimer get all this? It's just crazy. Secret connections, money, or a well-kept family treasure passed on from generation to generation. 
who knows? That would mean some of Mortimer's ancestors lived before Jesus was born. I wonder why my mother didn't make it clear what she was interested in here. She didn't have time to write it down, or maybe she wasn't sure of what she was looking for. I'm a little or sleepy. Not she wanted too bad, to though. protect her discoveries. It's disturbing. You'll just have to search the rest of the room. Maybe you'll find something. What is that you found? A cameo pendant. What's so What's special about on? that? Nothing. For crying out loud, Emily, you lunge for that jewel like your life depended on it. Tell me what this is about. No. We just met Louis. I like you, but I can't just suddenly open myself up like a book to you. Listen, Emily. It seems pretty obvious to me that you haven't come here for the sole purpose of sampling Mortimer's cellar. Stop all the clever evasions and just trust me. But why the hell should I uh -oh. my trust in you, Louis? When are you going to understand that I just want to help you? What do you expect? That I'll fall there into your arms and say yes to everything you want? <laughs> what are you talking about? I'm only asking you to trust me a little. If only on principle, as a member of the Golden Order, for example. I'll admit, you are fairly reliable. That's it? Yay, we succeeded! I was expecting more. Well, I'm prepared to trust you when it comes to choosing a French cheese. But I've nothing <laughs> to gain by confiding in you any further than that. Nothing to gain? Damn it, Emily! I'm only trying to help you. Stop needing to gain something all the time. Because you think I need help. Just like everyone. You have your strengths and your weaknesses. And there's no use pretending otherwise. Ha! And I bet you found out where I'm weak, haven't you? You think your scathing wit protects you, but in fact it makes you blind. No sooner have people she does have a weakness there. you already see them in a bad light. You play the part of a strong woman, and yes, you are a strong woman, of course, but what I see is a sensitive young lady who lacks self-confidence. Stop adopting a defensive posture and you'll see just how quickly new doors will open. There is some truth to what you say. I know. I might have some weaknesses, <laughs> but I don't need your help to overcome them. And I'm simply not contemplating collaborating with anyone at this time. Do you understand? You don't see us as partners for life. You won't owe me anything, you know. It doesn't commit you to anything after all. Right. All right, you've gone to a lot of trouble. You deserve an answer. I do. I already have a work partner. I no would not have guessed that. I don't doubt that your abilities will be of use to me, but I already have all that, thanks to my teammate. Is there any chance you might tell me who he is? No, I've already said too much. <laughs> I didn't know. Consider yourself. I didn't know she had a partner. I've given you this much. It's extremely rare, believe me. Come on, don't stop now that you come. I think this she far. was working with my mom. You know that eventually I'll end up making you talk. Well, since no one can resist you, let's see if you can guess who my partner is. You're a gambler, so your partner is. I know exactly how she was affected by it. Your sister. She's your partner. No, really? She's the one you're looking for. Well, I am impressed. How the devil did you guess I had a sister? Virtually no one even knows. When it comes to getting results... I would not have guessed that either. I can't do that. <laughs> you deserve to know why the sight of the cameo pendant affected me so strongly. I thought it belonged to Emma. My twin sister. Oh. Now I get why you said you had a memory for two. Yes. You can't imagine to what extent, though. As children, everyone got us mixed up. So one day, we decided to play along. Since then, we have become one and the same. We have officially erased the identity of my sister, Emma. Emily Hillsborough. The woman with two faces. Clever. But isn't it complicated? How do you make it work? One of us has no existence in the outside world. We share everything. First for one, then for the other. We dress the same, wear the same makeup, we speak the same. 
We've learned to act as one. That is weird. When we accept a mission, we both turn up. This time, though, she went ahead, and I was meant to wait for her on the mainland. She was meant to meet Sir Home and bring back the details so we could work out who would follow up. And there was a problem? She was supposed to return from Mortimer's one week ago. The boat turned up at Plymouth, but alas, no trace of my sister. Dude, she's Instead, probably dead. Instead, Sheila passed me a message the from mom home, shot her. notifying me of her sudden disappearance. So, my mother and your sister go missing just a few days apart. That's strange. Maybe their disappearances huh. are linked. It's clearly a possibility, but up to now I haven't found a trace of either of them. None of this is very reassuring. By the way, Louis, now that you are in on the secret, you are obliged to keep it to yourself. Or you will pay very dearly. Don't worry. Your secret is safe with me. It's time to leave. Is it now? <laughs> no, King Rock Kid, they don't take the same poop. So, what do you think of our first adventure? I must admit, it has been fun by your side. Same here. Oh, she's been drinking too much again. Louie, I need to talk to you right now. Good evening, Elizabeth. Actually, this is not a good time. I'm begging you, please, don't leave me alone. I'll be waiting for you in your room, but don't be late. Dude, she's gonna wait for us I in the sure room. There's a certain room. Je ne sais quoi between us. Louis, we need to talk now. Otherwise, it'll be too late. Looks like Elizabeth really needs me, but if I start talking to her, for sure Emily won't wait for me. What should I do? Well, Emily has bigger boobs. Ah. <laughs> uh. Hmm. Help crazy person or go to our room with Emily. <laughs> she heals well. No, I think that vision we had earlier was of her sister and our mother. <laughs> I don't know. I want to do both. get laid i don't know if we actually would get laid though i don't think that uh we're gonna get anything she seems like she's in trouble though elizabeth has a choker on you know what that means so did emily though they both had chokers they both why not both yeah can, can we just go both hey wait wait question if we hook up with emily does that mean we get her sister too later on <laughs> I mean, she's batshit crazy. I don't know if I want to help her. My mom did kind of torture her and stuff, though. <laughs> Grace for the trip. Grace for the sex. Oh, God. <laughs> so wrong, Bar. I don't... I, I don't know, though. I think she... She sounds like she's in trouble. Uh, she was... We were just going to talk about the investigation... Mm, tough decision. Emily's not gonna wait forever. I mean, she did say she heard some stuff about the mom. Sorry, Emily, but I can't leave Elizabeth like this. All right, Elizabeth. How can I help? Thank you. Come on, follow me. I really need to talk to you, Louis, right now. Does Lord Mortimer know the mess you've made of your room? Listen to me, damn it! My days are numbered. Elizabeth, I don't know if it's about my mother again, but I'm telling you, you've nothing to be afraid of. She didn't come here for you. I saw her. Saw who? You saw my mother? When? Just last night. I went out to walk along the cliff top and I saw her in the distance. She tried to hide right away, but I'm sure it was her. Are you saying you recognize my mother in the middle of the night? While she was hiding? Yes, Louis. I know it was her. You just said she, has she was been far drinking. away, right? In the middle of the night. And the exterior of the island isn't exactly well lit. 
Listen, I'm telling you, it was her. She doesn't hesitate on her answers. She's not trembling. She's really convinced of what she's seen. Crazy Did people are sometimes to... convinced they see things, though. No, she was far away. I I didn't make any noise, and then she was gone. Have you told anyone you've seen her? Sir Holm? Mortimer? You don't understand. It's her. She's here. Yes, I understand. No, you're not listening. The moment I saw her, I was overcome by spasms. She's here. I'm telling you, it was her. The fuck? Yes. I need something to calm me down. I'll drink with you, but let's go easy on it, okay? She might be having those crystal things for the anxiety, right? I don't know where she gets her rock cut from, but frankly, it's disgusting. <sighs> you know, Louis, when I came here, it was in the hope of getting help. I've only just now realized that I've been drawn here into a trap. A trap? Whoa, the alcohol's <laughs> gone to my head. What? What a lightweight. Here, the condemned's last drink. Ah. Uh... He's had like one and he's like Oh well, whatever. Man, we're I, gonna do it. I need to take it easy with the booze. At this rate. It was I one glass! The, night. the fuck? Let's go easy on the drinking, okay? Alcohol won't solve our problems. Let's go easy. Ugh. The second one isn't any easier. Ah, the third so, or fourth will be. Do you want to know why she did all those things to me or not? Even if it changes the image you have of her? Forever? What was she trying to cure you of then? Of the one illness she never managed to treat me for. All right. Come on, Elizabeth. We have to finish what we started. <laughs> Let's keep drinking. I feel all dizzy. There must have been a reason. Just tell me. Tell me what my mother treated you for. She wanted to silence them. What? What are you talking about? Silence what? The voices. The voices in my head. They speak to me, Louis. They've always told me what to do. They say nasty things to me. She sounds like she's schizophrenic, not mad or possessed. Elizabeth, do you realize what you're saying? She sounds uh, schizophrenic. Yeah, this like is what I live every day. But these spirits, Elizabeth, don't exist. You do realize that. These voices in your head, it's it's you, in fact. Nobody is speaking to you. They want me. Want me just for themselves. They talk to me all the time. Yet your mother did everything to make them go away. Ever since I was little. And look at the result. It's impossible, Mother. You spent your life trying to prove that the supernatural doesn't exist. Why punish this poor girl? Oh, shit. What has she done to you? Uh-oh, Louis. Are you starting to believe me? No, but... Sh Too bad it's all been for nothing. They're still there, you know. What do you mean? They're still talking to you? All the time. Despite everything Sarah put me through, I still hear them. And here I am on a lost island, knowing that no one knows me. And I find myself here at the exact same time as her. You see? You understand? You sense it too. I'm going to die here. I don't think it's because of the I mother, beg though. you, tell me you believe me. I'm here, Elizabeth. I'm right here with you. I don't and believe I her, do but believe we're you. gonna just go along with Thank it. Thank you, Louis. 
You know, despite what people might think, I'm not crazy. No, you're schizophrenic. My God, Elizabeth, how is this possible? Welcome to my world, little Louie. Welcome to my life. Elizabeth, the whole story stinks of death. Well, let's just get her out of here so she stops bugging us. I would left the moment you heard me speak about my mother. I don't know if she knows you're here, but if I had any doubt, I wouldn't take the risk. Yeah, you're right. I can't stay here another minute. I need to get the hell out of here. Good luck! I need to find a boat and get away. I'm not dying here. Oh, I feel so dizzy. You like my little concoction, don't you? That's rare. What? It no longer has any effect on me. But my guests generally don't appreciate me mixing alcohol with laudanum. What? <laughs> you put laudanum in my drink? In both. Don't worry, my little Louie. We'll sink down to the bottom together. Oh, man. I feel like puking. <laughs> I really feel like shit. Oh, boy. Uh, I gotta get back. Don't worry, Louie. I'm here now. I'll take good care of you. Psst. And then I'll leave. Don't touch me. Just leave. If I get up, I'll fall. Just crawl out the door. <sighs> oh, little Louie's tired. Leave everything to me. Oh, shit. What's gonna happen? Why does she have a knife? Right, <laughs> roll. Uh-oh. So it ended with us being drugged and her picking up a knife. That was the first episode, guys. Yeah. I shouldn't have drunk. I was being polite and then that backfired. Damn. I don't know what the next episode is going to be. She's going to do something with us, though. Damn. That was really interesting. I'm... I'm definitely curious to see how the story develops. Um, there's a lot of choices, and I like the uh, role-playing elements, the uh, having the skills and stuff, and choosing the different dialogues. I don't know when the next episode is going to be. They did not say a date yet. Yeah, no, I I, I enjoyed it. I like I like the games with the strong narratives and the where choices matter. But oh no, I I wish I would have went to Emily now. She just sounded like she was in distress, but she was playing me. She was playing me the whole time. I think she was going to try to use me, I think, to get back at my mother or something. I don't know. Yeah. Could have ended with Emily or not drinking. I mean, choices. Choices. But yeah, no. So, it's 1.36 in the morning. I'm going to be ending the stream here. I don't think there's anything after. Coming soon. Yeah, I don't know when. I click on it, it opens something in my browser. I wonder if you can play. I think you can start at different at different things. I think you can resume. I might. I am tempted to go back and do it again with Emily, but I don't want to have to repeat it right now. It's pretty late, so we are going to be ending the stream here. Like I said, 
And uh, tomorrow I'll be still live streaming. I don't know what I'll be doing. There will be Dead by Daylight for sure in the evening. Not sure if I'll do a daytime stream or just a long Dead by Daylight stream. I haven't decided yet. But if you want to be notified, please do hit that follow button if you're on Twitch, that sub button and notification bell if you're on YouTube, and also follow on Twitter and join me on Discord. Uh, before we go on to say a big thank you to our stream hero, Joe, Jose, sorry, Jose. I had to make it bigger because I couldn't read it. Thank you so much. And uh, yeah, let's go see if we can find somebody to raid. I know it's going to be a small raid since it's so late, but that's okay. Small raid. Small raid, small raid. Trying to find somebody we haven't raided lately who only has a small people watch a small number of people watching. Alright, here's somebody playing Fortnite. Uh he's got four people watching, so maybe we can give him a little boost there. And come join me on this Azralin raid. And I'm going to go to bed, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the game, though. I, I thought it was quite interesting. I'm really looking forward to the next episodes. I'm going to probably have to replay. I really want to see what happens if I pick the different choices. But we, sh we shall see. Anyway, have a wonderful night, guys. I will see you all tomorrow. And there is that raid in chat. All right. Good night, guys. <laughs> I'm squeaky. Good night, guys. Bye-bye.